Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new, 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 new games on classic consoles. And this is a bonus show. Yeah, this is like it's, a Christmas present, it's man. It's a Christmas what gift is this? for all of you. Holiday gift. We didn't bother this, wrapping that's it. That's right. Though. We got all of... No. Well, it's kind of We wrapped. got all the testosterone in. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we're, we're, we're missing out on, on, it's on Tanya. Today. It's all male today. She's at work, right? She, so she could... Yeah, she's yeah. at work today. She did want to be it part of would have been it. a killer right. if we were all here, but we get out Somebody's got to earn money. <laughs> Someone's got to Someone's got to do it. Yeah. Not all of us can play video games all day long. <laughs> you know. true. I almost... I, uh, Tamara almost came. Oh, but, yeah. Oh, was not but then really we would have really had to squeeze to fit on the couch. And, yeah, it's yeah it's no room for. Cats and she would have just much. wandered off to play with the cats. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> she would have said hello. Has she ever been on the stream before? Yeah, yeah. She was here oh, one yes, day. She yeah, was. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, cool. It wasn't too long ago, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, so thank you everybody for joining us, and of course we know why you're here, and we know why we're here. It's because of uh, Champ Games' new game, Zookeeper. That's that right. has been highly anticipated. Um, so I just got past it like an hour ago. So it's fresh. Super, super fresh. <laughs> Let's talk more rock. Let's talk more rock. Too bad. We're hey, man, talk if we start saying stuff like that, we're going to talk even yeah, longer. You said talk, That's and right. now we, tease, we feel like We've added like more, 10 it. more minutes to our so talking. So turn into a, a burlesque. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Speaking of talking and getting chastised for it, we were yeah. chatting away, and then seconds before the show started, there was a yeah, it's so true. That's that's the level of command that James has over us. He just that's that, true. and and waggle the finger, watch it. Watch it. and and we just <laughs> shut up. We're like, oh, this is watch out. We're gonna get in trouble. This is beautiful <laughs> producing though to be like, because this is like the te peak time of year for viewership. So it to have this is. exclusive <laughs> now, I is think it? that. Yeah, was that planned or was it just random? Did it just work out this way? Totally random. That's cool. John Champo out of the blue said, Hey, how would you like to have Zookeeper on your show? It's a, and I said, let's bring the show back. Because <laughs> we're technically on vacation right now. <clears throat> totally. Um, until, this is why we're talking so much. We're yeah. not. We, we're just fucking around. <laughs> we're not even going to show you the game. Uh, <laughs> you know, guys don't want to see the game. Um, yeah. Oh, damn it. Is that, lost my thing. Is that? Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to talk about. That's a new camera. So oh, you guys are seeing so. uh, me through the new camera. We did use it one day. What day did we use your camera? Yeah, for, for the, 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 the Twitch. The 12 hour stream. Yeah, um, because we thought the other one would overheat, which was almost a guarantee. So we used yeah. yours for and a while. And we didn't have a very good lens for it. And no, it, it was, was terrible. It was so we, we, we got some. And when we come back in the new year, we're going to do even more refinement on this. Yeah, this will be tweaked and it'll look even better. But right now, I, a couple of days ago, I got the, got the new camera. It's a yeah. 4K camera. We're not broadcasting in 4K. But if you notice the skin but, tone in contrast to the background, yeah, you know. It's a little bit better. We got to work on the lighting. That's yeah, the next step, the you know. The color is not quite right. This is actually kind of a orangey yellow, and you yeah. guys are seeing yellow, oh. yellow, like really quite quite a nice yellow. Yeah, but that's not the. That's but not we'll, what it is. we'll get we'll get, we'll get this. there. We'll this was just set yeah, up it's in kind the last of banana y or lemony yellow. Yeah, very lemony yellow. Yeah, yeah, but still looks nice. Uh, but our skin tone is good, so that's what counts. Um, I want to thank everybody who is talking. No, we might. I think we will be able to like. Is it autofocus? Uh, no, it's not autofocus at all, actually. So yeah. we don't have to hide our eyes. No, because no. it won't even focus. But there's a longer uh, focal <laughs> uh, uh, distance. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But there's nothing to show today. There's nothing yeah, man, to but, hold up. But we'll, yeah, we're we'll get there. 2020, we're stepping up the game. Yes. I don't know, so we, me and James, we've been talking about maybe lighting stuff, some yeah, more some stuff. New lighting. So anyways, we're going to see nice. 2020 really? might yep. be an interesting... Maybe hang it from the ceiling, maybe? Yeah, well... But with yeah. different lights or the same lights? On a big, big light. It just floods the whole room with tons of light. Yeah, mm. that's a really yeah. proper like one. Like the sun. And, You're like, going to yes. put a skylight in and just... Yeah, punch a hole in the ceiling. And we'll get vitamin D production at the same time. Also, <laughs> sunburns. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's right. And it's exciting because there's just some some jobs that we might have gotten that will like, give us a bit of money to then put some stuff into the yeah, show, you know, because yeah. we're doing this for free. So, but anyways. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, you know. It's a hobby. <laughs> so other things have to pay for the all the wonderfulness you see here. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. on with the so, why you're here. I want to uh, thank all the people today in uh, the chat. Actually, I'll do the Twitch subscribers first. Cafe 2D, Cafe Man 2D, Coconut 81, Gretem's Ground Trooper. I supposed to... Johnny WC twenty three who brings the game today, uh, mm. Carl G Croco twenty six hundred M K Smith Mister Fix Nathan Strum, 
um, who also brings the game today. Uh, RC7E, Repentless, VG, Spartan581, Spiceware, The D-Train, The Welshman89, and Tiki Dan K. Thank you all so much for subscribing. And you can support the show and subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime and you link it to your Twitch Prime. Click subscribe or you can just outright pay money. That also works. Yeah. And all the people in the chat too, Yan, Yan Fa Real. Yan Fa Real. Decoding. That's a Yan new name. Real. Welcome. Damn. Green of Foot, man. Green of Foot, welcome. That's great to have you. Nathan, uh, RC7E, D Train 37, Ross, Johnny W, uh, Dianoid 77. Damn, Dianoid's here. Ice Posta, DS Kilos 80, Repentless VG, MU Dan. And the Zero Page Homebrew keeps <laughs> fucking yeah. posting so much. <laughs> and Len McAllister sneaks it in Damn. just under the wire. <laughs> Yep. So, uh, seeing that today is a uh, arcade port, um, the question of the day, it's not a poll, because there's too many answers for this, what arcade classic would you like to see ported, or updated from a bad one that was done a long time ago, um, ported to the Atari 2600? Maybe one that's never been done before, uh, maybe one that's, you know, you know how, how Pac-Man was done a long time ago. And now somebody's updated Pac-Man. It's a lot better. Maybe one that's been done and, and wasn't given a fair shake at it. Or, you know, we didn't have the advancements that we do. Yeah, good luck with Tempest. I Anybody who pulls off Tempest on the 2600 gets big kudos. Because that's a tough one. Because it's all vector-based. Yeah. And uh, oh, it's, it's just really hard to do that complex of a screen space on the invaders yeah, badass yeah. man that'll be good space invaders yeah. has it been done or is it because it's such a popular title it, it has been done um yeah it's it's been done but uh it can also always be revamped absolutely kicks yes that is one i do want to see kicks on on the 2600 and it can be accomplished there's been chat in the uh, forum about kicks quite a bit <laughs> Um, Robotron has not been done. That's a tough one because there's a million things on the screen. But if anybody can do it, there's been a lot of adva advancements. And you'll see this in Zookeeper as well. Because a Zookeeper has a ton of things all in one line. And it was done very well. Too few invaders. Uh, yeah, you can too always few invaders. Have, man, yeah. you can always get a new space invaders. Yeah, so to represent... I don't know how many across it is. Is it 10? 12 across? It's quite a few. And on the 2600, it was 8 yeah, that's across. Not... So not quite a bit. Quite, not quite enough. Popeye, yeah, that would work out well. Outrun, Ooh, that's a tough one, but it could be done. Um, the one I really want to see that is probably not too well known, uh, <clears throat> it uses the same arcade board as uh, Tapper. Do you know that game where you pour the beer and you throw it along the counter to people as they come along? Uh, it's, um, oh no, I've lost the game. You chop down timber. That's what it is. And I think that could be done. You chop down trees. It's a simultaneous two-player game. And if you play it one player, you control both the players at the same time. And there's like bears that throw hives of uh, bees at you. And there's a boss at the top chastising you for taking too long. Um, very, I think, easily convertible to the 2600. That's one I would really want to see. Len McAllister knows it. Timber is great. Yeah, the local arcade here in New West has timber in it. It's, oh shit! I should have played so it when good. we were there, man. Yeah, I really, really love it. Next time ten... we, next time we go, I gotta get a list of like the things the to ones do. to watch. I just out for. randomly wandered around and was just playing a Simpsons game, which is very millennial of me to just be like, <laughs> yes. I'll play Simpsons. <laughs> Bomb Jack. Oh, that. I think that could be quite possible. There's a lot of things to collect in Bomb Jack and a lot of enemies. <clears> There's <throat> a lot of stuff on the screen in Bomb Jack. And they're usually all in a row. That one's a tough one. The rest of Bomb Jack's easy. It's just platforms. There's got to be around. a good Tetris one around too. There's a there's a bunch of Tetrises already. That's been done actually really really well. Str I figured it um, might be. I, do I have it yet? No, I still don't have the Tetris. But it's got a the name <clears throat> of the Tetris. The really good Tetris one for the twenty six hundred is the word four in Russian can't remember what it's called somebody can type it in the chat there uh bomb jack would be great tempest ball blazer ball blazer is like nine like 80 percent done somebody did a good ball blazer but didn't finish it so that's cheddary which i'm totally mispronouncing cheddary cheddary and it's wow. yeah it's it's spelled differently it's um pronounced differently 
But there we go. Lots of good suggestions for uh, people out there who um, who are developers who want to uh, do some more ports. Uh, mail news and feedback, not too much. I uh, just want to say that Brian Mathern's new book, The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion, Volume 3, is coming out very, very soon. Yeah, man, check that shit out, absolutely. Yes. It's got 24 games this time, and it's in the final stages. So I'll update everybody when it's ready to buy, either on the Facebook uh, page, or if we're back and it hasn't been out by that time, then I'll update, I'll update you anyway. Arabian, I don't know that one. Atari's Arabian. Bubble Bobble. Ooh, that's that's a lot going on. It's a cool Bobble. game. Those like there's bubbles that like you can have like four on top of each other. It's that would yeah, be the, really hard to make. Those really those books hard. get our endorsement. I definitely pick those up. They're yeah. even just great things to just have just to flip through and keep great on the for shelf. Reference. And, yeah, it's you know. all homebrews. Great for reference. I've got a bunch up there. I'll order the new one as well. Rena Foot says thanks. There Couldn't you with Bubble Bobble you could just have blocks instead of bubbles you could just like if there's multiple bubbles in the same spot you could just have a different icon that is yeah you can have it make make it look different like this a different color voice maybe. might yeah. be a tad off really i thought i said it but let me just uh reset it thanks for letting us know yeah if it's a tad off that's more concerning yeah it's like slowly <laughs> drifting <clears throat> It shouldn't uh, have anything to do with the output of the camera because it's that's live, but it may be, so... Well, 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 it new. shouldn't have anything shouldn't. to do with, therefore, it, it, it totally does. It totally, totally. does. <laughs> and, and it's just <laughs> the <laughs> first time we're doing the new oh. equipment with... Yeah, we'll be resyncing it all up in the new year with uh, be, because of all the new equipment. But yeah, we just, just a little, or it's just me. Maybe it's just you, because you're the only one brought it up. Um, <laughs> that's the most James sentence of all time today. It's so good. Um, but maybe it's out. If I like, I'm very sensitive to uh, being yeah. an editor. Very sensitive to sync Have issues to and drives me crazy. So yep. I, I sympathize if the sync is off a bit. Um, so why we're here? It's Zookeeper. This is a 2019 work in progress. Um, it's never been played yet. Um, he has shown some <laughs> screenshots, I think. <laughs> no, it's crazy. Darcy's completely out of sync. Yeah, he's There's, used to what? dubbing martial arts movies. That's oh! right. So he's way out of sync usually. It's just a bit doesn't match his Wait, much. am I slow or fast? You're just off. <laughs> Don't get just it. off. Sometimes you keep talking oh! after your mouth stops moving. You come in before, you come in after. This is like a Woody Allen movie where like Robin Williams is out of focus. And this is the bit is like, I don't know, I think it's you. You're just out of focus. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and he's like, he's standing in front of a camera and, and the whole team's like, yeah, we're trying to get you in focus, but your face is just always out of focus. And then he has like this existential crisis. Oh. And being like, it's the same with Darcy. He's like, I'm just out of sync. Every time yeah. I speak, it's out this of sync. This is how I am. <laughs> yeah, I just have to. Sync. I've just had to learn to live with it. Just like thirty milliseconds out of sync. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for uh, real. <laughs> so uh, this was first posted online, first mentioned December first, two thousand eighteen. So Ooh. almost a year later, we're actually getting it. Uh, this build is an hour old. Uh, it's very very new. It's a thirty-two k uh, CDFJ game, and just to remind you of all the other amazing games that Champ Games has either finished or are working on. Avalanche, Champ Sports Hockey, Conquests of Mars, Elevator Action, Ladybug, Lunar Lander, Mappy, Ripoff, Scramble, Super Cobra Arcade, Wizard of War Arcade, Zookeeper, and this game will be available, I think, if I uh, will get to that, after we play the game. I'm not sure to how long after, but sometime after this, there will be a demo. That's the word? Oh, Zookeeper, wow. that's the word, but I... I just copy pasted. It was very last minute. He sent the notes over, so I haven't yeah. looked at it yet. So and I guess that's his deal word. ultimately, because it's <laughs> yeah. his. It's his product that he's. Yeah, whether he's going to put out it. We're just so thankful that demo. we get to fucking do this, man. Yes. This is this is our Christmas present. So, Zookeeper is a 2011 American comedy film uh, starring Kevin James and Rosario Dawson, and this is a. <laughs> no, it's nothing. To Hold do. on, I was like, <laughs> whoa. <Just kidding. laughs> <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with the film. <laughs> Is that a real movie? It's a real, oh god, terrible film. Yeah, <laughs> it's about an unlucky zookeeper who turns to the animals at his zoo to help him find love. <laughs> no, 
Um, a Zookeeper is a 1982 video game uh, created by Taito America. America uh, player controls Zeke, a zookeeper, attempting to rescue his girlfriend Zelda from a zoo where the animals have escaped their cages. The majority of the game plays, takes place on a screen where the player builds a wall to keep the animals in the zoo, jumping them to avoid contact. Platforming segments are interspersed every few levels. The game was available as a conversion kit for Taito's Kicks, and people mm -hmm. um, mentioned Kicks as well. It doesn't seem Kicks has nothing to do. It doesn't look at all like Zookeeper, but I guess it uh, works on the same hardware. Um, and it says Zookeeper was not ported to contemporary home systems, but some develop was, development work was done on an unfinished Atari 2600 version. So this game has never been on any platform, any computer, any home console ever. Wow. Ever. And the fact that it's on the 2600 first is kind of weird. Are we going to watch a video of the original <laughs> yes. first? Oh, good. Definitely. Yes. I, I didn't mean to spoiler it. It's just that... You totally spoiled it. I, oh. No, I, it, it perhaps surprise perhaps doesn't surprise anyone, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know the game. We're giving it. Dude, to I don't know anything either. Mm -hmm. I never know what's going treatment. on. But I know even less than you. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> not, a lot of, not, not, not a lot of knowledge. <laughs> so, uh, even though this game was not ported to any game console or home computer, it was emulated on the PS2. Um, it was released on the PlayStation 2 under the Taito Leg Legends, along with 28 other Taito arcade games. Uh -huh. But it was emulated. Uh -huh. It wasn't ported. Yeah. So you're pretty much playing the exact arcade game, but on a PS2. And a bunch Sorry, of the other arcade it's, games. Uh, the tone of voice suggests that that's somehow worse. Oh, all you no, got no. was the original. It's, <laughs> it wasn't ported. It was emulated it was exactly <laughs> how it was intended to be. Yes. Boo! <laughs> but did you have to put in a but, CD? It, no one wants yeah. to do that. You know? <laughs> it didn't come out during... Like, usually when games... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. They, when it's in the arcade, people want it at home at that time. Yeah. But also, there is, is fun, there is fun in having to port something... Yeah, and not being able to do it exactly the same, and having to solve that problem. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Great. Especially on on older <clears throat> systems like the twenty six hundred, you have to make a lot of uh, concessions <laughs> yeah. to make it work. It's part of the art of this whole business. It really, really is an cool. art. Yeah. Uh, Reggie just messaged me and told you, tell me to tell you his body is ready. It has nothing to do with Nintendo. <laughs> nothing <laughs> at all. Um, so we're going, actually, before we look at the arcade, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about, no, let's, let's look at the arcade first. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's look at a video from the arcade version, uh, from 1982. <clears throat> and this is probably a meme because it's not recording a screen. Uh, so what well, gives them an idea? Yeah. Oh, 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 there we go. And actually, let's just. Toolbars. So let's bring up screen capture. There we go. Hopefully, this won't be cut off. escaped jump him it avoid yeah you don't want to get hit by the animals uh you want to jump over them <clears throat> that's rules to live by in life <laughs> that's right and then there's snakes and there's little bonuses uh -oh. that come up so you uh -oh. get to the clover uh oh some of them are gonna get out oh. that guy is obviously playing terrible oh look john got top top score for john john so, so this is the arcade go. version. So now he's playing it. Yeah, this is the arcade okay. version. How long can you hold the animals in? So you want to keep the animal inside the wall. There's different uh, Dude, the lions lion. are the big, That's the the big score. Yeah. That's the pixel of uh, <laughs> yeah. this zoo, the man. The big fluffy mane. That's right. And there's your net where you can capture the animals and oh. back inside. Suddenly. And it's oh, on a time limit. Can you go back? And they eat. Yeah, you can. So they're just being dumb. Okay. Yeah. 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 
Or maybe not. Maybe there's a strategy that I don't understand. It's, yeah, yeah, we'll have to see how well we do. It would not be we, the first time. Before we... So let's skip ahead a bit um, and see the different levels. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And, this, and there's three different types of levels. Well, why isn't that chatting? It's connecting to chat. <laughs> yes. It's trying. It's doing the can best you it can. The page? Yeah, I'll do it. And this is the third type of level where you run up the stairs. <laughs> Oh, no internet. Okay. Bottom right. Nope, that's where you want to go. And then click on the world. Down. There you go. Then click on the top one. This one here. Yep, connect. And then everything should come back normally. Yeah. There you go. And then click okay, away from back. There you go. And then it goes back to the normal area. So there's lots of animals. So looking at this, you'd be like... Look at all the sprites, there's no way this could be converted to Atari 2600. There's like tons of animals on the Ooh. same line. And they're all over the place, and there's crazy bricks that you can't do on a 2600. Um, there's moose just running around, and rhinoceroses, and oh, look at this, some lions kicking around here. Yeah. Tons and tons of chaos going on. So, I'm impressed with just like, like this should be called Bricklayer, not... <laughs> yeah, man, this guy's mostly, guy is, mostly he's, he's, he's building in, walls, He's right? an excellent Bricklayer and a terrible Zuki. The masonry is... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. a, is, is go back to your day job of Bricklaying, because you're very good at it. Yeah. <laughs> so that is the arcade version um, of Zookeeper. Uh, Reggie loves Atari, that's why he left Nintendo. My personal best is just shy of 700,000, but I Whoa. know you can get more than that in one jump later on. Yes, you can. Oh, okay, oh, the bricks Jack's are working phone. now. That's oh, good. real good. Because <clears throat> we're not going to have this when we start playing. Okay. So, <laughs> back, to, your styrofoam, yeah. back to the story. Um, so, about the unfinished Atari 2600 port. Ooh. Um, because that's important to the story. Uh, there was a listing in the Atari Age magazine uh, in March, April, 1984, Volume 2, Number 5, talking about that it was going to be released for the 2600. Like, they were already taking out advertising for the, for the game. So let's just take a quick look at... Oh, that's not it. Where is it? There it is. Take a look at the advertising here. Oh, and the oh. dream never came true until no. until there 2019. That's right. So it took them 40 years from 1984 <laughs> until now, 2019. So plan now for trip to the zoo in 2019. <laughs> 2019. Dad, I can't <laughs> wait to go to the zoo tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the aquarium yesterday. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah, there it's were monkeys. Kind of a zoo. What? Human monkeys? <laughs> Actual monkeys. At the Sorry, aquarium? Sorry, I did the thing. Yeah, okay. at the aquarium, there were monkeys, and as we left the aquarium, Tamara said, my favorite was the monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I remember those monkeys. I went to them recently, too. They're, like, in the, like, kind of aquatic... Sorry, the, like, tropical Weird. area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Atari is a new job for you in the home adaption of the Taito Arcade hit zookeeper. You are Zeke, the man who keeps the animals from behaving like, well, animals. They have a nasty <laughs> habit of breaking out of their enclosures. You can't let a bunch of camels, elephants, lions, and snakes run loose. No, you have to run around that enclosure and the animals eat away at the brick walls. They're hungry. They're, they're eating bricks. Maybe give them some food? <laughs> then they won't break out? <laughs> some or replace the bricks to keep them in. <clears throat> There's more to gameplay, as you might expect. For one thing, bonus objects keep popping up at different spots in the wall. Reach them before they disappear for extra points. When the animals, when the, an animal does escape, you have to avoid it, either by running away or jumping over, or there'll be one last Zeke at the zoo. You do, there's only one. Oh. <laughs> you do have another weapon in your fight against a fight to best the beasts. A net appears occasionally, and you can use it to pop escape peas back into their cages if you grab the net and reach the creatures in time. Man, good luck netting a lion. That's, it's tough. <laughs> it's a big, strong metal net. This is the Atari Age magazine, yeah. So far, we've only described what happens on the first screen. You still have to rescue Zeke's true love, Zelda, from a coconut tossing monkey. To do that, you scramble up a mo series of moving ledges ducking the coconuts and grabbing bonus objects as you climb to the top. The frantic arcade fun of Zookeeper is scheduled for release for the Atari 2600 system. Oh, and broken in, dreams. In, in, in uh, 
old school fashion, they don't mention the third level. Yeah. So obviously they're just like, no, nah, we that won't it's give you the scheduled. third level. Scheduled. It's like it's <laughs> scheduled. Technically, they're <laughs> right. They didn't lie. Oh. It just took them a long time. Yeah. So a lot of games back then, they would like Donkey Kong. They only gave you like two levels instead of like four levels, and they would yeah. they would not give you the full thing just to skimp on like ROM that they would have to put inside the cartridge because you add more ROM, it would cost more, more development time. So mm -hmm. like, ah, just give them two of the levels. This page They'll is like never your, know. your dad just being like, we're going to go to gonna go to the theme park, but first, dad's going <laughs> to go to the bar. So <laughs> <That's right. you laughs> know, you're just like... We'll get there eventually. We'll get there, you know, fucking 11.30s, passed out drunk, so mom picks you up. <laughs> so John Champo should use this exact copy on the, his, the, on the back of his box. He should. Yeah. Oh. No, no. <coughs> probably not be good. Um, so, continue on with the story of Zookeeper through the ages. Um, and then Atari Mania has this information. Zookeeper was to be a Sarah superchip cartridge. According to the programmer Christopher Omar Zoo, this game was 90% complete. Hold on, last guy's name was Zoo? Uh, Omar Zoo. Omar wow. Zoo. Omar Zoo? Omar, Omar Zoo. Okay. Omar Zoo? Well, that's one word. It's one yeah, one word. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sound designer Robert Vieira believes Omar Zoo got mo got over the most difficult hurdle, making the animals move up, down, sideways, and upside down as they ran around the cage. As far as he can remember, the game was never finished before Atari killed off killed it off in early 1984, which is when the crash happened. Yeah. Uh, Vieira made his sound <coughs> code available to the community, and a binary was created that plays 18 different sound effects mm. and pieces of music. Press the fire button to hear them. Graphic artist Courtney Graner provided some footage of his character sprite animations. No other material have been found to date. So we're going to take a look at that right now. Okay, oh, dude, just... uh, it's got to be mentioned, I'm supposed to drop the good one. Zeke lost Zelda to Link, it would seem. Yeah. <laughs> it's so true, man. You know, Zeke didn't make an appearance on the 2600, so Zelda moved on. <laughs> so Zelda... so if, if, if the crash happened in 84, yes. why was the Atari still made until 91? Um, they're still making money on it. Uh, there were right. still games put out. Um, it did come back again. A, like when the Nintendo came out in um, 86 in North America. Uh, but but the peop I don't know why the Atari kept going. It just had a big, big, big following. It was cheap. What was mm. the Apple computer <clears throat> the, that was the same thing where it was just like milked for so long? The Apple II? Oh, the Apple II? Was that was lasted just, quite a long time. The same deal where it was like so beyond its... It's software. Yeah. I mean, if you've got a lot of software base yep. and technology gets cheaper... There's going to be people without any computer yeah. or video game system and their grandparents or parents going, well, I could buy this new Nintendo for $300 or I can buy the Atari 2600 for $99 like, plus a stack of games. Yeah. It's like, let's do that. Yeah. The, the C64 went for a the long time. The kid's eight. He doesn't time. know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, yeah, but C64, bought. yeah, anyways. Yeah. And a huge install base, yeah. like software. Mm -hmm. Tons, just infinite software. Yeah. So. They brought out the 2600 Junior and 7800 and after the NES came out. So, Good point, yeah. Yeah, so it just had a long uh, longevity. Uh, so, uh, Albert posted in the Atari Age forums on March 2nd, 2005, you've probably heard about the long-rumored port of the arcade game Zookeeper for the Atari 2600, <coughs> the existence of which has yet to be discovered. Fortunately, Robert Vieira, who programmed the sound for the Atari 2600, version of Zookeeper while working at Atari has preserved the source code to his Zookeeper audio. He shared this binder with Ken von Moss Mersbergen, who typed the sources in by hand, OCR could not be used, and then worked with Thomas Jentsch to create it to create an Atari 2600 binary that lets you listen to all the sounds of Zookeeper. Wow. The sounds are top notch and while it's all we have of the game at this point in time, it's great to at least be able to experience audio from this never released game. You can download the binary here and run it in your favorite Atari 2600 emulator. To play the sounds, press the fire button. After a sound is finished playing, press the fire button again <coughs> to hear the next sound. So we're going to take a look at that right Man, now. Man, that's like mom coming in and being like, Dad's going to AA. Trust me, we're going to Disneyland soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last time you were burnt in the bar. Trust me, we're figuring shit out. Yeah. Okay. So you should be able to hear this if it starts up right away. Okay, good. It doesn't. 
So Thomas Yentz, Yentz was uh, involved in this and converting it over. You gonna be trouble? Oh, I'm not focused on it. So really arcade wow. accurate sounds. Like really good. And that's from the Atari sound. This is, yep, this is from Amazing. Atari. So that was the game up. This is power up music that plays when the game is first turned on. <coughs> this is the kiss. Picking up the net is this one. Thrust just said um, we only had the data, but no code or explanation how to read the data. Oh, so that's it's, rough. Wow, so it had to be massaged into something that could mm. be played. Good job, At least you Thomas. got the data, but damn, that's thank you for letting us know about that. And this sounds amazing for you. Ground. Animal tally and recapture. Jazz round start. The end of round one <laughs> sounded like, like a little jazz little. You, like the like the Commodore 64 aliens game. Oh. Yeah, remember? I'd have to hear you it remember. again. Yeah, oh yeah, I love that game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is death <laughs> on a brick screen. Coconut death, losing net, picking up treasures, placing uh, treasures on bricks, jumping over animal landing, animal escaping, a jump, animal bumping brick and jump landing, placing one brick, monkey throws coconut. It's my favorite one, personally. <laughs> Monkey throws coconuts. <laughs> Monkey throws coconut sounds a bit like a large, heavy blaster being fired. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're all similar, it's a, yes. It's the big guns. Um, <clears throat> so... Who wants to get hit by a coconut thrown by a monkey? Oh, no, no, it's a rough time. Not a good vacation. <laughs> Not a good vacation. <laughs> Thanks again to Robert Vieira, Ken Van Matt, Merce Bergen, and Thomas Yench for making this possible and preserving this piece of Atari 2600 history. So that's very cool. Yeah. That was in 2005. And decoding, you're right, it does sound very accurate. And it's amazing oh God, knowing yeah. the limitations of the Atari chip for sound. It's sound brutal. seems to always be the challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, everything's a challenge, that's for sure. Uh, so the world record in the arcade is 63 million points. So that's <laughs> I can get that. First go, James. Oh, I know you can. <laughs> Beginner's luck, yeah. Just like you're cleaning up on burger time. I don't think... That's amazing. Uh, and that was in 2011. And just to give you a... Oh, thanks, Paper Mario, for the host. Oh, thank you very so much. appreciate that, man. Um, to give you an idea how long it takes to get 63 million points, it takes an hour and a half to get almost 50 million. Whoa. Um, so... This is what John Shampoo. What does posted. that mean? Sorry. Uh, I think on his channel he's relaying us. Exactly. Oh, okay. It's kind of like spreads the signal farther. So anyone gotcha. goes like onto his one, he'll yeah. see us. He's re, he's re re uh, twitching. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. For gotcha. the, the hive <laughs> begins. Uh, so when John, this is John announcing the game. This is in 2018, December 1st. Hello, <clears> all. <throat> with Mappy released and Wizard of War Arcade nearing completion. Expected to be released in spring of 2019. Champ Games has started a proof of concept for their next game, a port of Taito Zookeeper. As some of you may know, Zookeeper was advertised back in the 80s, which we showed, <laughs> in an issue of Atari Age magazine as coming soon. Although rumored to be near complete, a prototype is yet to be found. However, a VHS tape was found that shows the animated sprites that were to be used, and the audio notes from the original Atari sound programmer Robert Vieira also discovered and converted into a working ROM by Atari Age member Thomas Yench. Apologies in advance if I got any of this story wrong. Oh, sounds like oh. you got it all right. And Thomas, we're not gonna, a hero. We're not going to play again. the VHS tape. It's so dark and muddy. It's you guys can look at look for that on your own. Also, it's, yeah. it's just on YouTube. Uh, Thirteen years later, Champ Games has decided to bring Zookeeper to the twenty six hundred. Development is still early, but here's a screenshot showing the first screen, including the score, bricks, Zeke, and the cage. Note the bricks bricks look solid with visible horizontal and vertical lines on a real CRT. And in Stella using the S video TV effect. So we'll see how it looks and we may adjust um, uh, accordingly to yeah, give, the, give the bricks the best look. Yeah, and, and no worries, paper, uh, Mario, and enjoy your thing. And you can anyone can always check this stuff out later on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we always repost on YouTube. Uh, Stella, unfortunately, does not capture an accurate blend of two frames, even with phosphor mode enabled. Cool. Uh, edit. Thanks to Thomas Yentz, he was able to configure Stella <coughs> to make a more accurate screenshot. 
Uh, Nathan Strum is busy working on the animal sprites. We're hoping to reach Robert to see if we can include his sounds as well. So those sounds we heard, we'll see if they make it into the actual game. So that would be an amazing carryover yes. from the 1984 game. So from the original Zookeeper, the, the sounds will be in this one. Uh, more details will be posted here as they become available, or you can follow the progress on the Champ Games Facebook page. So, uh, here is the message today from John. John, the oh. hero. Oh, is there an update? Let me just make sure. No, no, no. It's all good. All good. Okay. Hi, James. I figured I'd start a new thread for Zuki, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I sent you an updated ROM in the Avalanche thread, but here it is also. How to play. Um, okay, well, we can just do that after we start playing, because, uh, yeah, let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay, that's all we need to do. So let's get to the game. Everybody's been waiting. It's, uh, James it's only gets been 35 minutes. For sure, man. I think. Oh, no, no, no. Are you no, sure, I man? I have to I read think... stuff. Oh, cool. Darcy, right. you can roll then. Yeah. Get, Always start with the you worst get the world record. No, in not that Zookeeper. at all. I just think it's. <clears throat> you can have the world first world record in Zookeeper. <laughs> Joystick is so dirty. Filth. Oh, you're pressing <laughs> things. <laughs> meh, 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 meh. It's my usual play style. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the button. Mash. Okay. I've never even played like. <clears throat> anything remotely like this so i'm stoked either am i it's a very unique looking game like I, i've never had to like keep lions at bay this is good shit <laughs> okay as you can see this is today's date uh let's give it a go everybody ready which button it's b uh a. it's a but don't press it till we see all the intros and stuff yeah that's because what that's I always what Aaron do. Does. It's like, let's play it. It's like somebody worked on this title <laughs> screen. It's my, like, it's my ADD gamer Twitch. I'm like, story, who needs it? Gotta go kill stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just skip over the dialogue. Let's get to the... <laughs> okay, ready? <clears throat> that is true, man. Game of Lions. I'm going to start it again. <laughs> <laughs> because I said ready, and Erlen starts talking and doing a monologue. Did he say uh, yes, though? I was just responding to the guy. That oh. was all I was doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ha, shit. Wow. Yeah. So he's got... Uh, get to put our... Uh, it looked like he was waiting for uh, to put our uh, name in. <laughs> it was flashing. Oh, so he's got the zookeeper. Look at that yeah. sparkly stuff. That's incredible. And yeah. the champ game style too. It sort of, sort of feels like part of the studio. You know. It's so oh yeah. Cool. <clears throat> it's got a very standard look to the menus. The 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 high scores there. It's got the standard advance novice. Um, champ games has the high score. That's right. Forty nine thousand is the score to beat. I'm going to aim to beat P.S. That's my goal. P.S. Get, jump I'm, over one animal I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, get fifth I'm place. I'm going to beat P.S., man. So we're going to start in uh, standard, I think. Well, we said let the title screen play. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, let's... Uh, is there more to it? There might be. No. Maybe, maybe it goes into demo mode. I don't know. Let's see. But no. Let's let it go for a little bit. And I'll read uh, a little bit here. Uh, development notes I'll skip to first. I started developing Zookeeper back in October 2018 on a plane ride home from Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I was originally inspired to, inspired to start Zookeeper while finishing up Mappy while working with Thomas Yench on the five color Mappy logo. In one of our attempts to make the M wider, <coughs> I noticed a vertical line artifact that would show up if you alternated displaying adjacent pixels of the same color. I wondered if this effect could be used could be used to simulate the brick pattern of Zookeeper. Wow. Because that's really the key to making Zookeeper. If you can't make those bricks... Mm -hmm. No game, man. There is no game. It would just look like a solid... Like, it would be boring. It wouldn't work. Because, yeah, the animals could be kind of futz, but if those bricks don't feel <laughs> like bricks... Yeah, and it's really hard to make bricks in, in the 2600 because you have... The play field is four pixels wide, mm -hmm. but if you put a play field right beside another play field of four, there's no space in between, and there's no way to make a space. Mm -hmm. So it's just a solid color. 
And, well, uh, and, and John just said that there's, he sees one bug already that allows oh. you to enter your initials on the first high score. But he <laughs> said he right. already, he in just, the top score, too. He said he yeah. just added the high score stuff this morning. Oh. So that's why, man. And don't worry. This is the oh. work in progress. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, after a couple days, I had a working prototype that does exactly this, with a bit of flicker, of course. Note that you can disable this feature by putting the left switch in uh, difficulty switch in the A position so you can make solid bricks yeah. if you want. This will eliminate the fl flicker on the play field for the zoo in the bonus stage, but will also remove the vertical lines in the bricks, which probably will look worse, but eh, if people don't like flicker, that's the way to do it. Um, so once the zoo stage uh, uh, proof of concept was done, I reached out to Nathan Strom to ask if he would be interested in doing the sprites, and luckily for me, he said yes. <clears throat> As always, his sprites are amazing, and he was able to come up with vertical sprites for the animals that look really good. Oh, that's awesome. Because as the the animals turn the corner, mm. they are long, long. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. And and, and the colors on a twenty six hundred are usually line by line, up. So it usually works very well if the thing is like normal and horizontal. But mm -hmm. you turn it, the colors are going to be different. Wow. We'll have to see. Yeah, I'm so excited yeah. to see that and see in, how it <coughs> uh, works. Also, I love this little kind of glitchy. Oh, that's bit amazing! There. I think very that's Yars just beautiful. Re very Yars Revenge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the um, the zone where you are you're protected in the middle, but that's like tiny ones. The Yars Revenge, it's bigger ones. And they had the same thing. I think when we saw the original title screen, they had a similar style in the. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. The the title it's screen just, is it's just is perfect. It's just. Um, the original design had staying horizontal so they could be multicolored. Nathan also came up with his design of Zookeeper title screen animation, which closely resembles the arcade. Note, the sparkling colors are generated using a similar technique that was used in the neutral zone for Yars Revenge. There you go. So let's cheat and take a look at that because I'm sure some people are very interested in how the he drew the title screen. So what, what is this? What happened? Um... Oh, we just, just entered using... the matrix. Yeah, just fucking the matrix. Pano, uh, bolt in the back of our neck. <laughs> so this shows what uh, elements of the twenty six hundred are being used for drawing, gotcha. and it's player one, player player zero, player one, player zero, player one, player zero, player one. Um, so there you go, for those out there uh, who want to know about that. Uh, the sounds and music were uh, were done by Atari employee Robert Vieira. So the original person who worked on the original Zookeeper, mm -hmm. the sounds that he did for the 1984 prototype release are in this game. That's amazing. That's, that's amazing to have that legacy in this. Back in the early 2000s, a printout was discovered that had the listing of the sound data and driver that was to be used in the planned 2600 version of Zookeeper. It was never completed. No ROM has ever been discovered. The listing was secured by Atari Age member Dutchman2000, and the sound driver and code was recreated by Thomas Yench. Champ Games reached out to Dutchman 2000 and was given permission to use the sounds and music for our port. So uh, let's let's get into it. Let's press the button. What did I pick up? Uh, the beer. First beer. Oh, we got it. Right, get that Get that element. Yeah, I made it through round one! <laughs> Dude, you're getting close to PS's score. Please press play. I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, it's cool because it's the countdown, so like, you got these clovers. Uh, and then that. every time it reaches. Oh, and you get base. I guess your points are based off of how oh. many you manage to keep. Is that the, is that, is that the idea? Uh, yes. Uh, I think the points are inside capital. Yeah, because then it's like. Ah, uh, then it disappears and counts them. Now you have to beat DTP. <laughs> you're that's fucking right. face DTP. Oh. Is that Zelda? Yeah, mm. that's Zelda. And the monkey? Ah! Yeah. Oh no! Whatever, you know, like, it's just a game. <laughs> <laughs> but Zelda! Ah! Wow. Oh. And the pit opens up at the bottom. And then we got coconuts. Coconuts. Nice. Oh. oh my. Man, these primates are getting out. No! I mean, yes. <laughs> that's just how it is. Well, it's some Donkey Kong vibes. It, The problem is that you have a lot of control. <laughs> yes, you can move anywhere, right? What's that little needle thing there? Like, it looks ice uh, cream. It's uh, ice cream sundae. I don't know why I thought it was a needle. <laughs> Where's jacked into your veins. Wow, the, the ability to jump watermelon. is just... Too good? Uh, 
Well, for me, it's too good. There's just too much flexibility. Like, um, the distance and, like, speed in which you move is, like, you move this way, and you move this way like this. Wrong! <laughs> okay. <coughs> Powerful. No, I can put my name energy. in. Uh, yes. Maybe. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! yeah. In your of course face, I do. Yes. <laughs> I'm so. putting it in. You're gonna have to actually beat me if you wanna. Decoding says, I love it already. Holy fucking shit, this is awesome. Yo, for real. Yawn for real. Yawn for real. I saw the vertical brick separators before. Is that the stream? Uh, so we can uh, set it so it's a little bit better. So that the bricks look a little bit better. The vertical brick doesn't be showing on the stream. It's the same effect it was before unless James is difficulty A on. Let's uh, try that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. No, so it's, it's, it's B usually. Okay. So press a button and we will we'll set yeah see let's see if we can see that's oh, what's man. off now when what's off oh shit man what was off no no it was fine it was normal so Except do you want to start over no, I can, uh, oh I see you gotta kind of move I thought you could just you have to actually put it down that's cool so I'm gonna set the game according to what you say yes. set it to S video so that the bricks show Some up better. Beer. Round one complete. So, let me take a look at the recommended s video settings. Oh, oh, you gotta move. Come on, snakes. Oh, what? I can't oh. move. I can't jump. I have to. Oh, no. That's, uh, that's a bug. Because you should be able to. Br oh, maybe not. Oh, shit. You're able to do it there. Yeah. Oh, rough. Already dead. I didn't even beat PS's score. So we're gonna. Send... So you almost beat PS's score. So close. <laughs> That's my dream. All I want is to be a PS. I believe you have one more. Uh... Okay, we're gonna set it to S video. You need to do it again because uh, you definitely had one death that was caused by. That's better. Uh, uh, difficulty settings changing yeah. and, and whatnot. Yeah. I'm sorry. still figuring it out. No worries, man. Go again. Oh, it yes. looks like the resolution just got. No, I said it to ask video. So oh. that the bird show up a bit more. Oh yeah, that's way It's better. weird on these oh, corners. Yeah. Interesting. You see what I mean? Like I can't do you see that? Uh, is that a feature or a bug? That's a bug. Try when you get to that corner again, try all the directions. Sure. Like, not just left, not just right, but up as well. Oh, I gotta go up there. Yeah. You should still be pressing right there. I think um, it should get you around the corner and then press up. up, up. <laughs> That's it's weird, but you can jump the uh, corners. Oh, uh, you can jump and go around the corner. Oh, it is just weird. Crushed PS's score in your face, PS. So is that uh, OTB effects? Everything looks better now. I want this for Christmas! I want it now, now, now! Well, let me read about the release oh, plan. Man. And maybe you Do you see what I mean about how... Hero. Like, you just blew away my score, of course. I wouldn't say that. Well, uh, that's because you're a nice person, but... Like, oh, also oh liar. Nets! 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 Give me Nets! <laughs> oh, God! You know, okay, come on, buddy. Come I'm buddy. just now oh, noticing man. how friggin' good the characters are. It's incredible. Like, look at them! And the animation. No! Oh, oh, this is... This the sprites are really great. Uh, man, this is yeah, the seriously really next level. Like, look when they go around the side. Okay, net, 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 net. Like, they look good need. here. Oh, but they also look good on the side, you know? So, right. Yeah, they look very accurate. He does, I can see what he did on the sides. He just did a solid color for the primary color of the animal. Like, watch the elephant. He just did my gray. Yeah. Which totally works. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just want to not die at this point. I'm not going to lie. I'm... Oh. So, I kept some elephants in, though. Some snakes. So the release plans. The game is about 90% done. Holy cow. Oh, Rhino. Rhino's just wrecking shit. Life is tough. Hey. Shh, 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 for a second. Just for a second. Shut up! <laughs> the game is about 90% done. We have plans to release a work in progress demo of the game before the end of the year. So there you go. Maybe an early or late Christmas present, but it will be before the end of the year. Uh, they have plans. I promise. Um, right now we have about 40 bytes free. Oh my god. 
so a lot of optimization will need to be done to fit any more features, namely safe and support. We also hope to include a scoring screen and perhaps two-player alternate. Yes, please. <coughs> um, See this? I'm just waiting for that net. That's all I need is this net. Where's this net? Come on, net! Come on, come on, net! There you go. Uh, down the side. Get it. And there you go. Get okay. all those points. Okay. Get down the bottom. Now, Get down the bottom. It's not bottom. going. Okay, thank God. Quick, 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 quick. Well, at least I caught some of them. I think Four. you got top score now. That's better than nothing. Oh, nice. Whoa. Uh, we also would like to implement sprite copies to reduce flicker. Ooh, Whoa, that would be I can very get some cool. serious points just collecting these things. You see that? Yeah. I don't think there's a time limit. Oh god, you just get killed by a uh, The time limit is the longer you go, the more coconuts there are coming out of coconut here. You know, oh, and also the bottom thing disappears. Oh. What happens when that's gone? Do you, is that a timer, maybe? Maybe. What? Oh, I see. It what? assumed that you oh, were me. Oh, right. And it knocked you out. <laughs> Uh, we'd also like to implement <clears throat> sprite copies to reduce flicker specifically for the zoo screen where it's possible to have 18 objects sharing the same horizontal space. The Atari is built for two. <laughs> so yeah, you would need a uh, lot of sprite Sorry, copies. Stop it up here. Zeke, a bonus item and up to 16 animals. So 16 animals, yeah. This is definitely really good on video. This video. Addictive game. It's a good game. There's a lot going on. Yeah, a also lot. that that one level when there's this, this things running around and you have to just like not die and just pray that you get this net. That was hard. Your initials are the same first letters of your name. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's what I that's how I've always done it. Just yeah. error. Because otherwise there's it would no be like timer on the platform level. The more you stick around, the more points you can get. Note. Uh, that you get points for just jumping up and down on the platform. Whoa. <coughs> I guess that's if you're pushing for high score, that's a real good method to just yeah. hang out on that screen and just collect. Yeah. The animals and Zeke look amazing, extremely accurate to the arcade level. Yeah, they're really well, Of course, the longer you hang out, you won't have that oh, head with a coconut. Oh, look at the animation of the coconuts. And the bounce of the coconuts. Wow, that's great. Bonus to get. Looks like that watermelon is like a fair amount of points. But I think the higher they are on the screen, the more points they are. Oh. See how I I skillfully jumped around until it made it into the hole at the bottom? Man, the only reason why I was able to do okay was I got to watch you do this. Cause it's oh like, yeah, this big is points not on a, the top. This is, not a, this is not an easy <clears throat> level, and I, you know, I couldn't make it past. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it's totally so open you get, so you get the, So see, you get the net first in this right. one. Yes, so that's so. a lot easier. The next one with with the net last, that's just like next level. Of course, you want to get you know, have to build a wall first because if you capture the animal, it's gonna escape right away. What? I you gotta push oh. up now. It's it's a bit tricky. This, that, that spot is like a weird spot. Yeah. I'm sure that that definitely fixed. It's just that. It just doesn't extend. Yeah, because there's times where you almost like. I think you might you might want to think eight way eight way joystick. So down and to the right when you're there. Yeah. Dude, so Rather this one is just rough. Down. Look at this. So you gotta wait forever. Oh yeah yeah this yeah. Is the, this was the one that like killed me. Nathan Strum has signed on to do the artwork, label box. Another one, another one. Hey, label box and manual. And we are hoping to release the game August 2020, perhaps to coincide with the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Oh. There you go. Something to look forward to for next year. This in a box. And now I'm gonna play one oh. game. And then we're gonna read the instructions <laughs> on how to play. I can read them while you go if you want. Oh. It's up to you. Guys. Yeah. No. But that way we can keep the... Oh, you got killed by an elephant. Zero points, James. Gotta pay uh, attention. How to play. How to play. Zookeeper for the 2600 is a port of the 1982 arcade game oh, from really Taito. Loud. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no worries. Oh, that's too bad, because we've been saying really interesting things. <laughs> Einsteinian-level um, insights. Uh, Zookeeper for the 2600 is a port of the 1982 arcade game from Taito. In Zeke, 
um, you control, oh, in, Z in, in Zookeeper, you control Zeke the Zookeeper. There are three unique screens in Zookeeper, each with their own objectives. Zoo stage. stage. Yep. In this stage, use the joystick to move Zeke around at the outside of the zoo, building up walls to keep in the animals. When an animal escapes, they will chase you around the perimeter. Press the button to jump over the animals. Jumping over multiple animals earns big points, up to 30 million? If you can jump 16? Whoa! That's also oh, that's actually good to know that you can get points jumping over them, James. Yes. I didn't know that. Um, the object of the stage uh, um, is to survive until the timer ends. As the timer counts down, a bonus item will appear on the perimeter of the zoo. Collect these bonus items for increasing points. If you collect the net, the screen will turn blue, and you'll have a few seconds to capture the escaped animals and send them back into the middle. When the timer ends, you are awarded bonus points for any animals that have not escaped. It's kind of like Pac-Man style in a way it's like you know you take the pill you get to kill the, the, yes. the ghosts yeah. and then you got it's like avoiding slash killing um platform stage which is where we're at right now good timing in the platform stage the objective is to navigate zeke to the top platform and rescue your girlfriend zelda who has been captured by the monkey use the joystick to move zeke left and right on the uh, current platform you get hit with a coconut yeah barely Urgh. And uh, press the button to have him jump to the next platform for points. The higher the platform, the more points you get. Along the way, collect bonus items as they appear for even more points. And some pretty decent ones, like five, five thousand for like the top ones. Oh um, yeah. Avoid the coconuts the being thrown by the monkey. If one hits you, Zeke will fall to his death. Also keep an eye on the bottom platform as it scrolls off to the right. If Zeke falls in the opening, he will lose a life as well. And then, um, oh, I didn't know this, they have a bonus stage as well. In the bonus stage, use the joystick to move Zeke towards the escalators um, uh, to reach Zelda. Press the button to jump over the animals charging out of the cage. If you can reach Zelda, you will earn an extra life. Okay, so that's really good to know. None of us have well, gotten there I yet. definitely have not gotten there. I did. I'm doing terrible. Did you, like, the stairs? To Erlen? Oh, the stairs. No, no, I see. I, no, I, yeah, I don't know okay. if made it there yet. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, this, the, the mall. The mall yeah. one. I think the trick, the mall. I think uh, the trick to this game is really just to survive, honestly. Corners are tricky. Corners are hard. I honestly haven't jumped. I, I've been finding, like, when I was doing well, I just tried to never, like, corner jump. Yeah, I'd corner always... jump. You have to kind of press <clears throat> down while you're jumping, or press the next direction while you're jumping. Um, uh, uh, there are three, uh, skill levels, novice, standard, and advanced. Oh, I'm getting it now. And, uh, standard plays most like the arcade game, you start with four lives. Novice starts with more lives, five, plus each stage is a bit easier. On the zoo stage, the wall starts off with more bricks and less animals start the level. On the platform stage, there are less coconuts. On the bonus stage, you have less escalators mm. to navigate and less animals to avoid. And then in the advanced, it starts with less lives, three, plus each stage is a bit harder. On the zoo stage, there are less bricks and more animals. On the platform stage, there are more coconuts to avoid. On the bonus stage, there are more escalators to navigate and more animals to avoid. And the game ends when all reserves have been lost. You can then enter in your initials if you obtain a high score. Note that save key support has not been added yet. But that implies it probably will be added, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. for high scores. Um, do you want me to read some of these development notes as well? Or? I went through those. Okay, great. Is that everything? That is everything, I think. Amazing. And there's these release plans. Have you gone through that? Yeah, I already did those. Okay, yeah. great. I'll just, I'll just oh, close this down then. Yep. Ah. Coconuts in my way. Ah, ah, ah! No. Hey, that's what I did. That's... <laughs> you, you're getting good at this. I am. I'm dying. You almost pitch. made it all the way to the bottom. <laughs> is that the goal? Yeah, I feel no. like if you're pushing for high score, this is how you do it. You just chill out here and just... Because 5,000 points oh is pretty God. amazing. It's pretty good. Uh, the big, big, big points are uh, achieved in later stages when you're jumping over like 12 animals at once. That's a good point, you get yeah. massive points. That's how you get that 60 million. You can get a million points in one jump. Whoa. Jesus, so many coconuts! <clears throat> I can't get up there because there's too many coconuts. Ah, uh, yeah. D uh, Dios Kilos uh, confirmed that as well. Which? Just, oh, just that high score equals jumping multiple animals. Right, right. Yeah, you can get a million points. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I got on the scoreboard. <sighs> Dude, PS is long gone. Oh, nice, quick. Movement, I like it. I... 
Okay. Let's play um, on novice or easy. What was it called? Novice. Oh, novice. Novice. Yeah. Yeah. Just so we can get further. Yeah. So we can get to that get to like that stage. escalator stage. Yeah. Oh, and I guess there's probably high scores for each. Yes. Uh, maybe it's not implemented yet, yeah, but, but usually that, that there, will be, there will be. I've noticed that in, in Mappy, I believe, if, if, I'm, All if I'm not correct. Yeah. And it makes sense because if you you can't compete against somebody on easy against somebody who's on Yeah, it's, it's, it's two different games, basically. The uh, thing I don't like about the really arcade games they're designed to eat quarters, so gameplay is suffered with the mercy of difficulty. Uh, to thrust, what did thrust say? Maybe we should have start scrolling the Maybe score. Maybe we'll see how it could work. The arcade only so it shows six digits. Yeah, so people that were rolling the arcade, it only shows six digits, so you have to kind of count how many millions you got in your head. Yeah. It's oh. bad. And so he said that it does support it, it's just not <coughs> save keyed yet. Right. So that makes sense, man. It's good you're implementing all that stuff. He's doing so much work already, it's insane. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this was shown at Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2019. I didn't get to play it, so I'm not sure w uh, what stage it was. It must have um, been at a different development stage than this. Can you confirm oh, what state that might have been in? That coconut. would be really interesting coconut. to hear. If you have a moment, there's no one. Yeah, what uh, what the differences were between this one and people who happened to play it at the yeah. Port Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Also, I, I Nathan know. says the best jump he managed was 10 animals, which was 500,000 points oh, in one shot. Crap. 500,000. Yeah, so I guess I guess that's how you do it. You don't hang out on the fucking monkey stage. You, <laughs> no. It's too many. You, you push through and then jump over tons of animals. Yeah. Because if you think about it, the world record is 62 million. And if he got... Oh, what, what? the hell? Oh, you, I Darcy. totally missed her. Oh, no. But you're oh. racking up the points, though, man. It's true. Yeah, in that, in that strategy that you just described as being a bad one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not a bad it's strategy. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. I know. So it's like a bonus, you know? Oh, man. I love its four-leaf clovers. All the graphics are so good. I mean, they, they obviously remind me a lot of the Mappy graphics. Oh, In terms man. of, like, the little bonus, bonus things, like the TV and stuff in Mappy. They're really, really well done. Yeah, and this guy, this, this, it's interesting, this guy reminds me a little of Mario, you know, yeah. we got Zelda in there, we got, like, not Donkey Kong, oh, it's, no. not, oh. it's not, like, a gorilla, it but it's, Game like, a, it's Darcy. got, it's, it's like got all the classic to... elements, you know? Yeah. Is it, oh, it's not remembering the scores. Well, well no, this but is novice. novice, right? Oh, that was, that's, that's the, that's crazy. the confirmed. He said, fixed animal spawning logic on the bonus screen. Um, he added uh, around 7 to 10, added high score screen, and many bug fixes. Okay. More differences on the skill levels. Uh, Nathan Strum answering to Ark Vinin. John includes different difficulty levels in his port for Zookeeper Advance will likely be equivalent to the arcade game. Ooh. Standard being more balanced and novice being easier. The first Legend of Zelda game. Yes, that's right. It's good. Hey, Nintendo. Legendary K. game. Welcome all the people that we have not seen before. Ark Vinin, and uh, I think we've seen Nintendo K360 before. But welcome, welcome back to the show. Getting more <clears throat> better at the round, the corners now. Like yeah, it's kind of like it takes a second. It's or two. the it's oh, stopping see, around a corner that is tricky. If you keep moving, it's natural. Yeah. It's like you round the corner naturally, but when you stop near it, then you don't naturally yeah. turn, go on an angle to go sideways. Yeah, I haven't yeah. played the arcade, so I'm not sure how that works in the arcade, whether you do stop until you press it up and then it rounds the corner, or the, the other direction. But I would have thought that it would keep you going around the corner, pressing in that direction, and then you switch afterwards, rather than this one, you switch before you get to the corner. But I think whatever the arcade is, should no. be, that should be implemented. Yeah, this is not an easy level. I'm very laid back, but kudos on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah! There you go. See, I haven't been able to do that. But I'll get it this time. I want that net! Give me that net, friends. Was that net? Uh, so I saw. Uh, come on, come on! Oh, it's too bad when you like. 
Did we you use self- the net till the end? No. No. no um, it- and it makes a noise when it's going away. Oh, okay. It's uh, too bad because, like, it's actually fairly, like, the cornering I'm still learning because sometimes you see, like, now it's you like. You press to the right at that point. You gotta round it. Yeah, round it. Oh, yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hadouken. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Around I see. the corner. <laughs> Damn, okay. Now, um, this is the hard one. I find this one to be the hard. Oh. Yeah, right into the. It's already instant fail. What can you do? But you get massive points. Now, oh, there was some hints. One of the hints was go opposite direction of all of the, most of the animals. I mean, all the animals are going different directions. But it's easier to hop over them. Yeah, yeah. When you're going in the opposite direction. Obviously, you have to reverse sometimes. This one, I'm just trying to survive till I get that net, man. That's what this oh, one's yeah. all about. There you go. Nice. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Um, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Oh, we ran out. Oh. We ran out. Fuck, man. Oh, oh. dead. Yeah, that's the hardest level there. <laughs> and then you think you're doing well, and then... Ah, whatever. Just hit anything. It's no, fine. No, don't it's just idiot. novice, man. Put to... put nothing rather than yeah. Now you can go whatever. Yeah, it's all good. Um. Yeah, for the oh, there's only one guy. <laughs> yeah. For the world record, I saw him back. that he wanted the animals to escape. He he let them escape. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah, I, was, I was wondering if that was the case. Actually. Also, like I feel yeah. like once again, like because then you get the. Huge bonus points for jumping over a ton at once. And I feel like once again, like any game, you just gotta survive. Like if you can just not die, <laughs> that's a good tactic. Because sometimes yeah. I think you end up Especially getting when you're first starting. Well, yeah, and sometimes you just get too clever. Or you're trying to get all this stuff, and like obviously, if you can play like seven levels, I mean that's gonna get you way more points than like trying to like you know do some crazy dive that might you know it's just it's like a marathon, you know. Gotta be careful not to sprint. Yeah, like things, it's tough with things like that, right? It's like so in this. That cornering I is tough want, in this game, man. I kind of want to let them escape while jumping over them still. But you build up the bricks, so then now there's two. Now if I can jump over those two at once, oh, then you'll get lots in one jump. But you would get more by just repeatedly jumping over the same ones, right? True. And but you get bonus for jumping more than one. Like it, it, it accumulates more and more. But by the end, you want them all inside, because you get bonus points for them being inside, so... I'm just doing it too quick and I'm not paying attention. It's just that the jumping is very different in this than just, every other jumping. I find the trick to that yes. one is patience. You just have to be really patient. If you try to rush that, it's like really tough. I'm not skilled enough to... Oh, well, you gotta get that to net, man. To oh, you. shit. Damn it! Missed the net. Oh well, I'll get some points by jumping. Yeah, I still gotta learn how to corner properly. So I got three yeah, you get, there. You so get two thousand every time. The, You've done that several times, that and each time you got a thousand. That's pretty great, 2, man. That's good. We might hopefully we get this escalator level. Oh, now they're all escaped. Yeah, this is the hard one. Oop. I'd say honestly, this is like. That's a double rhino. 2000 for Del Oreno. That's really good. So what he was doing, he wasn't running around building bricks. He was kind of just jumping around, right? And then he just kind of waited for the net and then went nuts. But you, but you haven't really built up any of the... Do you want to jump those guys? 6,000. 6, There's the net. There it is. So does the net run out in a time span after you When get you look to... at the top of the screen, there it shows you what's happening in the order. Oh, okay. So next time someone else yeah. is playing, yeah, look at it and you'll see. Easier, and it's like, oh, the clover's coming. And it, it, the one Hopefully disappears. Hopefully this escalator. This might be it. Yay! Maybe I should have stayed Bonus down there. Bonus <laughs> Get more bonus. Oh. Ah! Whoa. Oh my god. Moose! Are loose! Ugh. How does he look vertically? So I I read that. That was moose. That moose. Six thousand. Damn. Oh, let me get three in this one. Oh, and then I. Whoa! I see more than that. Whoa! Careful, it's gonna run out soon. There we yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, it's like the top. You got like strawberries coming up. Is 
this is now I can't get the map inside, is, though. This is less no. zoo keeper and more like zoo jumper. <laughs> zoo jumper. It's like zoo patron. <laughs> when there's this kind of zoo keeper. Look at all <laughs> how many creatures there are. Whoa, yeah, I guess when it's like the high levels, man, this is how you do it. Uh, oh, you were so close to the end, too. Yeah. Oh, the nets first. No, because I want to jump them and get the big points, right? Huh? Well, with this particular version situation. Ugh, but it's so it's hard. Not yeah. difficult to let them out. <laughs> it's difficult to not let them out. It is. They don't want to be inside the zoo. These guys are just chewing away at the bricks. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. That's all you got to do if you're an animal. Just try to escape. <laughs> what else that's, are you going to do? You do want to get the points for sending them back in. Or do you get. You don't get points for sending them back no? in. No. Oh, look at all those boosts. 30,000. 30, Jeez, man. They just... Oh. oh. Damn it. That was a bunch of moose. It was oh. many moose. And it's... It, the thing that's uh, stretching credibility here is that you would be able to jump over a moose. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> ah. You can maybe hit a moose with your car. But that's funny. Yeah, and... Well, you can't. No. Like moose no not massive. surviving. Yeah, there was like a Mythbusters episode where they were like, there's a myth that you could hit if you, like if a moose is on a car, you speed up because it'll knock it over. And then they tested it and they're like, no, like going, Damn you should break. Yeah, <laughs> you should break, <laughs> don't, yeah. Don't speed up when you're moving towards an animal. Oh, you mean because they're high enough that you'd knock their legs that out? Was, and... That was the theory, at I least. guess if you were in a sports car, it would work. It'd be better, yeah, in a but, sports but car. But, like, the idea was is that it just, in the end, produces more problems because, you know, it's just hitting it harder doesn't actually... <laughs> at a higher speed, yeah. Did they try it with a Lamborghini? Because that's both low and wedge-shaped. That's a good point, man. If they did the Lam <laughs> if you got a Lambo, you can hit as many moose as you want. <laughs> as long as you go fast enough. But, but they can wreck in your $250,000 car. My... Yeah. That was uh, is, that was well done. Okay, this is amazing, and that, and that many creatures on the screen, I didn't even like it's notice. Insanity. It's so good. And, yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Um, and also, what was the game we were playing where we realized that you really need to get all your points at the beginning because as it went on, the number of points you got got smaller and tighter, and the margins got lower and lower. Oh, and it, it it was the one where you chased the person, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, and this is uh, not like that. This one, your points, the higher you go up, the higher Keystone your points capers. are, which I like. I like that it gets like, huge. as you go on, your points get higher. It, yes. it, it's more satisfying that it, way. It is. So yeah. when you start off, it's tiny, tiny points, but then it just a accumulates. Yeah, Nathan. Mind you, moose bites can be pretty messy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's rules to live by. Up here in Canada, there's a fair amount of moose. Yes. Less in, like, I notice way more in Alberta, but that might just be, like, that but, might be more just the area. But with that many creatures on the screen, I didn't notice. It. I didn't oh, I didn't care about the flicker, if, if there was flicker. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't it, notice flicker. I'd say the only thing that I've been struggling with is, is learning how to kind of corner properly, because it is a little bit, like, it, you just kind of have to learn... The, the ways of it that like you do you have to um, understand but I don't feel as though that's um, a problem with the game I feel as though that's me just needing to learn um, this kind of structure and system of yes because I got operating. used to it after a bit yeah <laughs> it's just that's the only thing that is a little bit counterintuitive to start but are these homebrew remakes available in full or only demos uh, are they free for purchase this one particularly is not out yet there no will... coconuts this one this version we're playing usually the ones we play on the show are full versions um sent by the developers um this one there'll be a demo before the end of the year um and usually they developers want to put out a demo version of it so you get the full you get an experience of the game but they also want to sell copies you know in in full form in the boxes <clears throat> Man, um, I guess that thing at the bottom is like your time limit almost, because you start out with it, and then it, at a certain point it just disappears. Yeah, then, That's you're, kind of, then you're in trouble. To limit you from doing too many of these. That's cool. Now, in terms of buying the ROMs only, um, what has happened in the past, usually about a year or two years after the game has been put out um, on, um, on hard copy, uh, the developers usually put that out the ROM for free. Bad luck. But... Um, I've been seeing more and more 
Albert talking about the person who runs Atari Age. Al talking about um, some sort of ROM purchase. Nope. Possible possibility of ROM purchases. So I don't know how that's going to be structured yet because a lot of people are, are asking for that. I don't want the cartridge. I don't want to take up space. Do you wanna, I just want to give just money. Just put a dash. It's just not going to last. Yeah. yeah. It's going to go away as soon as we turn it off. So. <clears throat> Okay, I want to work in this cornering business. So yeah, okay, that's a bit easier now that I'm thinking about it. That you kind of have to like anticipate it. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got it. There you go. Yeah. Once you figure it out, it's it's. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're I'm like of, I'm in. I'm, of I'm, I'm in just like the like. Uh, yeah, 670 points. That's about the, as much as you. The can thing make. about the cornering is that it's really good in that when I first started playing it, I had no difficulty with the corners at all. It was just like instinctively the way my hand like went on the turning. joystick, it went around the corner. Like yeah. you're turning a corner. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in the arcade this was an eight-way joystick. So it wasn't strictly up, down, yeah. left, right. So that you could... No, you don't get any points for getting... You don't get on, but, but you, you do get, get the, the points at, at the end. end. Right. So I guess I figured... You're getting the points there, not when you're putting them in. Whatever so the rules are, the rules are, but I would yeah. say you should get points for throwing them in because um, they might not stay in. And you are trying, you know what I mean? You are yes. trying to do it. It's like you're actually... Maybe they figure you're getting paid. That's your that's your normal job. You're getting paid as a zookeeper to keep them in, so no bonus for that. <laughs> oh my god, man. This is where shit gets real. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm I not want suggesting that net, I want change that net. it. I'm no. just saying, because, like, whatever the system is, the system yeah. is. But. So, let's read what the score is. Like, what what things are worth. No. You missed the baby bottle. I did, but I just don't want to die. I'm just trying. My, my, my goal for this game is to just tr attempt to sort of, like, just survive as far as I can go. That's valid. Um, But I don't know how well that'll work for me. I'm just... It's worked well so far. You, you've had the most consistently getting to the Rhino stage. Because... Just keep it simple for me, you know? I see what they mean, what you mean, though, with that at these stages, you're almost wiser to just jump around and... So there's uh, six zookeeper machines for sale at the arcade-museum.com. Um, there are 159 known instances of this machine owned by collectors. Um, 145 of them are original dedicated. Five of them are conversions. <coughs> like we said, they're from, from kicks. Um, out of 10,000 members. Uh, let's see. There are 46 members looking hey, for zookeeper. James, look. Jump. Oh. <laughs> I was just hanging out on the top. Yeah, that, that, you have that, to touch that, her. That's kind of, no, he ran across her several times. I could jump over times. them. And he had then... to jump. Once he jumped, it connected it, but he had to be oh, jumping to... Move. Yeah, I was just yeah. hanging out no, on No, he them. moved. Yeah. Threw oh, her and the monkey back whoa, and forth. Okay. And it wasn't until he jumped. So, I mean, it seems like it logged. But, yeah, but I don't be. know how the arcade worked. Now this is now this is zoo jumper. Get the net quick. There, just in time. Yeah, I bet. But it's at the beginning, so it's actually, like we said, there's no, there's actually no reason to grab them. Ah, no, there isn't. <laughs> so why, unless you have, so unless scary. the net is the last thing. And yeah. then they're inside. Then, oh then my the god, man. <sighs> yeah, this is the level I have to <clears throat> just what? get wrecked on, man. Because the moose are just, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I'm gonna just try to. I'm gonna actually just get get back to basics. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna try Avoid. to. Avoid. I'm just gonna grab this net over here. Oh, I'm you're just, just keeping them in. I'm, I'd like to if I can. Ah. Uh, oh no. Well. Uh, I have a couple. Now four. I just gotta try to survive. No. It's easier to go against the flow when you can. Which is, you know, difficult to. to I feel say like when you can. I feel like there's also probably a method to sort of training them, almost like trying to like kind of like keep an eye on them so that they're fairly. Okay, so the elephant is worth two fifty. Snake is five hundred. Camel is a thousand. Rhino is two thousand. Moose are worth four thousand. Whoa, it's just getting so insane, you know? It's what? just there's so many of them. Lions are worth thirty thousand. I don't think we've seen. Them. I can't yeah. see them. We suck. Uh, number of animals jumped. So it goes from 1 to 11. Maximum is 11 animals for points, and you get a million points if you jump 11 animals. Um, I think I've, 
I jumped six at once. I think I got 30,000. So uh, at one, it's 100, two, 500, three, 2,000, four, 6,000 points, five animals jumped, 15,000, six is 30,000, seven is 60,000, eight is 120,000, nine is 250,000. Uh, it's just double each. Yeah. Oh no, it's not quite. It, it starts. It gets More to less. double once you reach that one fifty, double. not five. That didn't double quite. Which didn't double? Uh, that's yeah, they're not five quite times, double. You're right. Four times, three times, two and a half. Then double, see, like, then double, cold. then all, um, then double, then double, then, then, double, then almost, almost double, then double, then double, then double, then double, 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 double. So. Bonus items. Near the top of the screen is a timer which controls a series of bonus objects appearing along the wall. As the timer runs out, the line becomes shorter and will touch an object placing it. When it does, the same object appears somewhere along the wall to be picked up for bonus points. If a timer reaches the object of the line before Zeke has picked up the first, the worst person will disappear. The point value for each object varies. The first one is worth a set amount of points, and each subsequent collection... Yeah. Like, you just got 30,000. Did he? Wow. Yeah, because he was at, like, 100. Oh, that's a huge one. And then he just did another no. 30,000. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a decent score. You just got 60,000 in two jumps. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's too bad that you died, but at least well, you got 60,000 yeah, before you I, died. Yeah, at least I got <laughs> Okay. Oh, helpful mo tip on the moose stage. Wait to grab the net until the last second to reduce the amount of time you need to dodge animals. That's a for great, the rest of the level. great point. But you get points for the jumping up. So there's one, two, three, four, eight, eight items. Uh, they go from 300 points up to 40,000 points for like a rainbow and a star. Cool. And 20,000 for... You're up, James. Thank you very much. If you want to read out some helpful tips from that page. Helpful there's tips. There's a whole bunch of good tips and stuff there. Elephants. Oh, maybe it's a Sunday and not a, a, a bottle. <laughs> Sunday and not a bottle. Well, oh, there's that one that's like, yeah, it looks like a, a baby bottle. Oh, yeah, it's a Sunday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Somehow my yeah. crazy it's fucking brain thought it was a needle. Like, <laughs> where, where, where's, where's my head at? at? The strawberry the is tells me. And the bottle is 2,500. Oh. On Holy jumping. It's, they're worth what they're worth. I think that just might be on the other stage. Maybe not. No, because that's 300. The oh, watermelon is 1,200. worth more because they're They're worth what up. they're worth. Yeah, they're worth more it. because they are oh, objectively what? better. <laughs> what I've noticed See, the is that he will throw yeah. the but coconut than um, in your to, direction. Exactly. So one of the good methods is to wait till he throws it and then jump then the opposite jump. side. You know what I mean? So sort of get on one of these, and you see right. now, now he's kind of he threw it that way. So you yeah. almost want to try. It's a weird one. I think you get more lives on the easier levels. Yeah, because that that, ah. that was the perfect time. It would have been I missed the platform, unfortunately. Yeah, now you got it. Ugh. But then he throws it. Oh my god. This is not an easy stage. No, um I found I found just being really patient is was my method. There just, you know go. what I mean? Like just hang yes. out on those platforms, there's no rush. Because I notice whenever you try to rush on that stage, it's just it's too easy. And also the coconuts he'll kind of throw in your direction anyways. If you're patient, you can kind of predict them. Yeah. So uh, if you if you hit the girl before you land on the top shelf, you won't get the points for landing because you haven't landed. Um, oh. So in theory, you want to land on the ledge and walk over to her if you can. Okay. Because it's worth the most points because it's the highest ledge. Cool. But that was a, a, a bug that you... Uh, that he was on the ledge and couldn't do anything about it. Right? <laughs> this, this episode what? has had much useful moose knowledge. This channel is fun and educational. <laughs> when Erlen was trying to get her, and he was on the ledge, but couldn't couldn't activate it. That's that's got to be a bug. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. 
Yeah, and I think it was be it was just like I'm bo but as soon as I jumped, it it fixed it. So it was it's a right. bug, but it's not really like a game breaking bug at all. It was kind of cool. It was like hey, and then it was easily fixed. Right. Because that's my thing. If if the bug like fucks up my game, then that's an issue. But if it's just like you know as simple as me just jumping, I'm like whatever. Uh, it also says. Uh, and it says, uh, in fact, while you earn the same score every time you touch the other platforms, the value yeah, of touch, patience. the value of touching the top platform doubles every time you leap, leap off, uh, off to another platform and back on. So if you get oh. cheeky, you can jump onto and off of the back top platform and it doubles every time you do it. Oh, damn. But you have to do it without touching the lady because she's mm. all like, come here. <laughs> she just needs your attention. That's yeah. what she needs. It's all about Zelda, once Zelda, again. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta net that up. Get that net! What's the point? You don't get any points for it. Only right. if it's like the last thing. It's, it's up to, yeah, it's it's like if you're comfortable like surviving through because it's insanity. The, it, because it's the game, and in the game you <laughs> grab the net, that's why. Well, no, also, right. you might be able to reset the animals such a way that they're grouped up more. And it's it's high risk, high reward, man. Stakes are high. Because I find it hard to, like... This is the thing, is, like, it gets pretty dicey. Yeah, but they would have all escaped again by the time. Like, unless I keep them trapped in and then get no points. Well, I figure, like, you capture them and then you buys you a bit more time to sort of, like, you know, get, yeah. get through the insanity. See, they escape immediately. <laughs> they're just escaping. But now grouped up. Oh, that exactly. might be was that fifteen thousand exactly, or one hundred and fifteen thousand? Exactly. Now they all sort 15, of like funnel together. Like, look at all of this. Oh, there's only in Actually, Canada, what's weird. there are so many signs, at least in Alberta, that indicate moose crossings. It's very, it's very common thing when you're driving down the highway. You just have to look over at a sign being like, "Warning: Moose might cross the street." <laughs> The mooses are crossing the street. Uh, I wanted to put gooses in there, but then I didn't. Because I, I just, I don't know, I just didn't get there. Because it rhymes with helps. mooses. Yeah. Mooses and yeah. gooses? Mooses and gooses. I don't know. Man, crushing it with points, James. And if you hadn't died all the that times on that worth, one, you uh, would be doing very well. Oh, 4,000, never mind. Because, yeah, if you think about this, like, really, like, you, um, have been, you died a few times on, like, a, on an easier level, so, like, if you got yeah. to this point with more health, you could probably push this bit farther. You should do another one, man. Yeah. See how far you can push. Oh, he says you should grab the net on this level and do one round on the perimeter to lock the animals and buy you a few seconds break. It's usually the difference between finishing the level or not. That's my perspective, really? too. Really? Yeah? Yeah, because you 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 couldn't finish I'll it. I'll try that. Yeah, I couldn't. So I think that's evidence in and of itself. I was getting so many points. That's yeah, but you get more points if you actually continue on until the And also, round. like, the sure. next one will have more animals to potentially jump over, right? I like it when you run right into the elephant like that. It makes me feel better about my terrible uh, abilities. Oh, I don't really like it. I was just joking, James. Okay. I like it better when you do well. Okay, good. Okay, elephants, get inside. Get in here. Get the measly little points. 250, 250, 250. It's worth one and a half extra times more than... Uh, yeah. See, this is perfect. Dude, Arkfin's got some really good advice. He says, never get in a headbutt match with a goat. Oh, no. That's... Unless you're a deer. I Did you guys see that video? No, no. what was that? This... Deer versus goat? There was or a human versus there was a... deer? Actually, it was. It might have been a sheep, but whatever. It was one of. It was a ram. So I guess that's a sheep. Yeah. Um, and it was It was like, I'm going to I'm gonna charge you. And the deer was like, okay. And it, <laughs> Goats are it such... stopped him and then... Sent them running. Goats are amazing animals. When they get scared, they just and fall. Have you seen wow. those videos? Yeah, yeah that goats. those. Yeah, yeah. And um, when I was like in Scotland as a little kid, we so go... you want to come in on the other side because oh. it's bigger and wider. Oh. Okay. And then you want to jump off and on and off and on and off and on and off and on and see how many points you get because apparently it's double each time. So I'm supposed to lock these guys in. Why do you want to lock them in? I don't know. That's what John Chapo said. 
Probably, but he means more for the later levels. Right. Because these levels are like, not too you can probably survive these ones, but it's gonna like, it's I think when you get to the stages that are like really deep into the game, that's when you want to make sure you do that. Right. But man, when I was a little kid in Scotland, I would just, we'd go up mountains and stuff, and there used to be mountain goats fucking everywhere, like weirdly, on the side of mountains, they're like weird animals, because they manage to like climb oh, up things, yeah. mm -hmm. and you just look at them and be like, how the fuck did you get here? Like, how are you standing in like the, on like the edge of a mountain, just hanging out, eating grass, got no issues? Like a week ago, I yeah. A, yeah, video of mount, or goats, some kind of goats. Climbing uh, the face of a dam. Like wow. It's almost completely vertical. It's Aren't like really, really steep. What did like say six degrees or something? Something like that, yeah. And, Ooh, and, they, and it, it was like, they, they would like scrabble and scrape at times. You're like, but no, it's like Velcro-y. Like, like, how are you doing this? <laughs> like, how are the, yeah. Whoa, look, did you see those were like worth thousand, two thousand, thousand thousand, so that's, yeah, that's there's bad. some real benefits to that. Ugh. Impaler's here. Hey, Impaler. <laughs> Patience, James. Yeah. That is worth That's the trick four, to this five, level. Five, I five, yeah. Yeah, because see, like... No. No. Oh, oh I should have jumped. Yeah. yeah, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, see, that's that's the way to do it, man. It's just more precise, and there is no rush. Yeah, I don't like this one. Also, you don't get that many <laughs> points, and the potential... No. I think the extra just health, for it. because you need that... You could... If you think about it, like... You one, later do get more points, though, one, because later there's the huge numbers. Like, that's where... Yes. Later there's, there's the... Like, you know how it's, like, up to a million for jumping 11? Yeah. Like, you get the higher numbers that you can jump over later on. I, right now, it's it's trash. I guess you are, it's, you are correct. It's, it's complete it's, trash it's right now. It's not worth it. <laughs> it strikes me, though, that you'd be better off having more of, of like, a better chance for, like, you know, getting, like, 30,000 points. Look at this moment here. Like, like whoa. 15,000 for that group. Yeah, 4,000 for that strawberry. Strawberries, where is it at? They ungrouped a bit because each thing, each animal goes at its own speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the moose are like crazy. Mooses. And this is where you just want to survive at this point, James. There's no. I've just learned that if you hold down the button, he jumps immediately again. Uh, Dude, that's so the, if you're that's in a crowd, the then you're not one. dead. Oh, yes. see, that's it's so hard. So that's what you want to do. Is, is that a bug? <gasps> Might be. Are you allowed to hold down the button? Is Are you allowed to survive in that fashion, or must you die? <laughs> and Paler's like, Zookeeper's come pretty far. So true, and this is the S video input. It actually looks better than that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for the bricks. For the bricks, yeah. Everything else, it just gets a fuzzy one. But... Oh, they're escaping. But not in a wrong way. No. Still like, looks it, good. It, it's like appropriate for video games to like have the look that this has yeah <sighs> junk whoa james i don't even know whoa. what you're doing sometimes <laughs> yeah i'm just aiming for spots that are open survive Damn no! it's, it's hard. So close. I think this There's is the so level many. that we haven't been able to cross, no, right? This and is the several one. times you've died with like a sliver of of uh Oh, there's an F. Uh, yeah. Th this is where John's um is right that yeah. you really do need to sort of do Keep your best in. to just to get past this level because this is a really challenging level. Yeah, they're escaping. And also chomping away. The more animals inside, the more chomping they can do. That's the problem. I know, it's so <laughs> unfair. <laughs> Damn it! No. So hard! This is a rough level. So man. mad. I just want to know where Kevin James is, though. That's the question. Uh, where does he come into play? He's a seat guy, but... I don't want to hate on anyone, but Kevin James is definitely not on my <laughs> list of, like, favorite actors. Who? Kevin James. No. Not my favorite oh, actors. Go ahead, Darcy. <laughs> oh, 194. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Click, click. Yeah, you, we can see, we can see your kind of, your, your glass ceiling, if you will. <laughs> that it, level. That level, and then also those, that points, right? Like, it's, I think it's like... Realize this game is a cross between... 
Tempest? Oh jump yeah, man. you're going around. Uh, you're not firing though, but jump kind of has a little Pac-Man spirit in it too. You know, this this whole kind of like having the net, <coughs> having to like There's dodge things, catching stuff. Obviously not fully. There's no maze and stuff, but I think the kind of like prey slash predator element is, is oh, definitely. Rust asks any news on the console repair. I have not received my uh, replacement power. Dude, this is where power, Darcy saves the day, parts. right? Fixing, fixing my, uh, We're just yes. helping, helping with un understanding, because you know way more about that stuff than, than any of us, right? Yeah. In terms of electronics. I guess. We're all ignorant, and I'm slightly less ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, compared to, I know nothing. So, it's shipping from Australia. He said two to six weeks. It's about two weeks right now. Hoping I can get it for the new year. And that is not guaranteed to be the fix. It's probably the fix. Dude, he's got some. He's wow, got some, the, uh, the coconuts well, bounce. Us with some here. It says I had a uh, continue feature I put oh, in for Nathan for testing that he removed because he ran out of space, but he might add it back um, uh, as a feature, which would be <laughs> oh, actually it, that'd be great. That would be nice because it is a fairly um, challenging game, yeah, and I think novice. that would also make me like, you know, and also to be able to have it and not have it is, I think, it's hard because I think contemporary video game like oh, mindset is like you know we just we just see go. games so no. differently now we do like i deserve to win every game yeah like, that's, that's pretty mindset. crazy but back then it was like no you got to get good oh. oh no i had a new strategy <laughs> it was to stay on this side because it's but you have to get because... past the monkey though yeah that's no it's point. to stay on this side oh, until up here smart and, but I'm gonna just die anyways because I'm terrible. Well, games, you can be but... more patient, man. From like, yeah. no, I can't. I, mean? I can't be patient because uh, he moves too fast for me to be patient. Yeah. Uh, it's, it stresses me out. But you can just hang out on the thing <laughs> so it goes. No, no, James should push more because yeah, because uh, yeah, we're almost near the end of the show, and I'd rather oh. see if we can break. Oh, I'd like to see you break twenty thousand if you can. So I have yes. a game idea. Yeah. So I wrote a sci-fi trilogy. Yes. I occasionally. Uh, I've tried not to talk about it. <laughs> Dude, I want to read this sci-fi trilogy. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, so, um, I've been thinking, like, oh, how could I make a, a game for it? And, like, yeah. it's a story, so as... Typically, stories aren't very good in terms of, like, being accurate to the story. It's true. You're just not going to have enough things to kill. Because, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, you know, you your, your main characters are uh, stressed out about that one fight they had that one time. Right. Uh, not the I've killed a million uh, aliens. That's why aliens is so good because there's so many things to kill. That's right. Yeah. And so I was thinking, like, how do I how do I make a story for it? And I was thinking, so uh, first of all, you have to like BS the the what literally happened, and you just have to have take something where they fought a thing, and then they fight lots of those things yeah, because man. that's just how it is. It's adaptation, you know. And so what I was thinking, it like. Early on, the the main character gets shot at, and so yeah, so you got to jump. That's a bug. Yeah, that's the bug. Uh, so jump. so what I was thinking is, you the first uh, the first part would be you're playing the bad guy, and you're trying to kill the main character. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. But lots of them. Lots so like the reverse characters. of normal, there's a whole bunch of of, of like people you're trying to it's assassinate. Like 90 John McClane. And, <laughs> and, and, and the way you win, the way you win is by killing all of them. If you don't kill all of them, you get to continue the game. If you if you kill if you actually kill all of the protagonists, yes. the game ends and you have won. Game they, over, you they, won, game they, over. Are first they first phase. of the same guy or is it like No, no, we are ones? we are ignoring reality. Okay, reality doesn't okay. make sense to convert a story into a game. As I was saying, like, there's the problem. You, yeah. there's, there's not enough fun. And so you're playing the perspective of the bad guy who's trying to kill uh, the main character. Hans Gruber. And, <laughs> and it, in order to make it fun, he has to do it lots of times. And it's so you have several people for him to kill that any of them could be the main character. And for story reasons, the one, if you miss any, the one you missed was the main character. So you're killing all these civilians. And if any of them escape, the game continues. If you kill all of them, you win. The first, like in the first game, like the in the first. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but it's gonna be hard enough that like a really good score would be that you didn't kill all of them. Yeah. Right. So it's more like a um, a gimmick 
that you win the game by killing them all on the first round and that you could win it on the first screen phase. That's cool, and it's like, so, yeah. And then so, so then you go through, and when it's appropriate, you play the heroes, and when it's not, you play the bad guys trying to kill the heroes. Know, so and so switch. you're trying to win the game as the bad guys by actually successfully killing all the heroes. <laughs> and um, on the other times, you try to, like, kill the bad guys, and then the rules kind of reverse. Like, you have to kill all the bad guys in order to continue the game when you're playing like, heroes. Because otherwise you don't survive. Yeah, it's otherwise... Yeah. Anyways, this is... Uh... And so... Uh, if you were going for a top score, you would have to do the weird thing where it's like, don't kill everybody on round one, because otherwise the, you win the game, but you don't have a very good score because you yeah, didn't play you long know. enough to get more points. It, it encourages drama. <laughs> or, or it could be that you get the most bad. points by ending it as quickly as possible because you get maximum score on all the other... That you would have gotten on all the other levels, they add up. It's like you're not penalized for having done better, and it's Bonus. just crazy impossible to get them all. That sounds cool, man. That's that's my uh, mad, idea of madness. What's your what's what's sort of the story like the setup to your to your trilogy? Just oh. like the first act of, of like the first Ooh, book. Trophy. That's um, enough. Yeah, just so a, just enough that it's like tease us. I'm just curious. So there's um, I did write a blurb. I can't remember. That's okay. What the what it was exactly, but essentially, the uh, Max is doing his um, traditional coming of age survey when where a child becomes an adult, whatever age you are, you Damn can be it. fifty. Yeah, man. And you become an adult by completing your Jewish, your, your you survey. Circumcised, you know. And, and the survey is there because the people of the planet Gralian they don't know how they got there. They know that the that they aren't from that planet, but they have no history of how their civilization came to be on the planet. And they know they're not from there because they can't even like eat the food. Like they can't eat the plants and animals that live on the planet because they're the just they're just too alien. For it, and yeah. so they use like a, a they use a digester cube. to they take they take whatever food they catch and they chuck it in the digesters and the bacteria eat it and then they eat the bacteria. It's really yummy. I mean, <laughs> man, I'm I'm all about that bacteria yeah. in the morning. Anyways, again, I've I've gone way beyond blurb uh, mode here. No, I'm but into anyway, it. so so he discovers uh, someone in the ice. That's not much of a spoiler because you find out pretty quick that there's a, a someone and not no, this something. No, the first act. This and, is good. And then uh, as God he's loading it. his thing, someone tries to kill him, and he's like, "What the hell?" And he runs away. And then. Uh, she wakes up, and they have to, um, yeah, the blurb, I, I, ha I have to work on the blurb a lot. No, man, I, was, I so this, this but anyway, hero, so, was he so born now on they, this planet? Now, now they, with, with killers trying to kill them, they have to not just escape, but, um, they ah. might, in fact, have the answer to the question, like, where did we come from? Because this person, like, he just found somebody who's been frozen in the ice for forever as far as Fuck. as far as they know and but she of course she for plot reasons and also uh um reasonable reasons she doesn't remember anything because that would be really boring if she wait and then it's just not nine pages of exposition <laughs> but also it's reasonable for uh someone with hibernation sickness to like not remember all Fuck this yeah. Stuff. yeah yeah Anyways, so, so did, that's was that. this this hero was he born on this planet or did he yeah. travel? He this was born planet? on that planet. Okay, that's cooler. I like that. Yeah, it's like they don't know how they got there, but they but they they have something like fifteen hundred years of recorded history, and so they got there sometime oh. before that, but they don't know how they got there. I think about that sometimes, man. If like the planet just got decimated for whatever reason, like you know, if you were just born into like I don't know, like some crazy dystopian thing you wouldn't know any difference so you wouldn't like you know because humans are so adaptable you know and then you try to explain like what life was like before as just be unimaginable and i mean ah! if you're a nerd and you like history you will read about history what happened? still had lives left what happened? Oh, what happened the game reset because you did something or because of a bug bug just like were you doing too well <laughs> no 
I was not. I what, died. What did I, happen? Oh, I, good thing it's recorded. We can see. You true. can see something. Uh, I died, and I think that's when it reset. <clears throat> just after oh, I yeah. died. So he's, he's been saying like. For yeah, those I want to read that. Who, who don't know, Sir Catlegs Ross did the amazing sounds on uh, Galaga slash Galagon, which are amazing. So good. And he says he'll send you the. He'll send him the current uh, Gorf work in progress, so you can see what Nathan and have done <laughs> so far. Looks great. Also plays pretty well, but it's very silent. <laughs> very quiet, yes. That's good. Excellent. So Gorf is moving along. Um, uh, the voice samples. Which is I supposed to. Yeah. Ah, Mike Haas. Yep. He says he needs to add the line cutscene, and you get 30,000 plus for every lion you capture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the level. Nice. So that's a motivation to capture these lions. <laughs> yeah, 30,000. And I was planning also, on Also, man, that. if you capture a lion with a fucking net, I'm buying you a beer. Uh <laughs> There's bears right there. Uh, yeah, because on the lion level, the net was the last thing. Yeah. So you're able to capture the lions if you build up just enough brick wall, right? As you're going along. I did get over 200,000. I was doing quite well, actually. That's a good that. score for round one. What did you do? <laughs> um, he caught the beer just, and just did it. Got all the beer. Yeah, yeah but we, I've gotten all the beer most of the time. I I've, usually get all the beer. So you must have done something. I think you're on the harder one now. You're on standard. Oh, that's uh, right. Which is okay. That would ex that does um, that, that There's nothing wrong it. with playing standard for a bit. No, I um, should. Yeah. He presumes that it's harder if you can imagine Actually, we that. we should play expert because we haven't played Yeah, that. advanced. Let's find out. Oh, good call, James. Yeah, we have to show off all the things. Well, yeah, see, this is certainly the more difficult. You because know, there's, smaller there's bricks. Less, less bricks to start off with. Uh, more uh, elephants. More elephants. But that means more bones. Elephants are cool creatures. I like elephants. Oh, yeah. They're smart. So there's six elephants. Four, five, six. And you got a slightly more points. Hooray. Yep. Oh, and, and you start with fewer health, health, too. I remember I was watching this yeah, show that talked about elephants, and they said that for years people thought elephants were not as intelligent because they would, like, give them things to do, and they wouldn't do them um, <laughs> with, more. with like, the um, uh, their trunks. Well, they discovered that uh, that elephants Eight just, points. their trunks are different. Like, you can't think of an elephant's trunk as, like, an arm because yeah. it's, it's their nose, right? So it was right. like they wouldn't be doing things that we would do with our hands. And then actually making, because they make yeah. elephants, like, paint with, like, their things. Yeah. And that's actually fairly like elephants don't really use their their trunks to, to do that. No, we kind of force them. Do we think of these trunks as like, oh, that's just like an arm, but it isn't. Whoa! He that... threw a coconut at me. Yeah, that's too bad though. That bug. Yeah, I, but I, that was not that wasn't the bug. You have to touch her. Ah, I see. You can't you don't just get on the platform. Most video games are like you just get on the platform. This one is like, no, you have to go over to I it. guess that's the benefit of sort of coming in on the on this side rather than yes. the other. But starting but, on that side is good. Because whoa, yeah, look, uh, like without this... the bug, though, the uh, the advantage of the other side is that you um, you get uh, points. Like, there's a lot of points for landing on that shelf. And yeah. if you don't land on it, you don't get them. So that's if you touch point. her, then you don't get them. Ah, yeah. Uh, All these creatures till the end. Oh, he's courting Ross for Gorf sounds. Dude, I have no shame. No man, you gotta find your find good people wherever you can. Yeah. Man. Finding good sound people, people who are willing uh, to work, it's not an easy thing. Sound is so important in any kind of art. <laughs> Dude, I got complete faith in you too, Sir Catlegs. <laughs> he was just saying I'm making no promises on sound quality, just that they'll do something. What's W O W? To me, that's World of Warcraft, but I don't think that's what he's referring to. No, it's uh, so especially Wizard after you work on. Ah, oh, ah, oh, cool. It's a problem with acronyms. Acronyms yeah. mean different things to me because of depending on the world that yeah, you live in. <laughs> Man, I got my last class for my students Man. today. Oh, so I'm really looking, really looking forward to that. It's been quite the road. Yeah, I guess it's the end of the year, so. Yeah, and this has been a tough class, so I'm really looking forward to saying goodbye to them. Um, but they're also like, actually, all of them did really good work, so I'm excited oh, to see like their films too. Oh yeah, that happens too. Because um, cool. I think Stay there's there. some, some real potential with these guys. But mostly, I'm just happy <laughs> to be done for the season. It's mm. really, it feels time, you know. Yeah. 
I, I ended up having to delay it because of my surgery, and then, like, oh, my last yeah. class should have been this week, but it's, it's busy. Or oh, last nice. week, rather. Ah, oh, good timing. Not doing too bad on advanced. So, oh, Whoa, wow. dude! That's cool, look. Oh, Next dude. level challenge. This is just bonus. Oh, you... It's not bonus. You it's not bonus. bonus, that's another level. I'm so happy level. we did yeah. this, though. That's really cool, because it's, like, so much harder, because you have to jump over this, this, A this. A lot harder. Yeah, because in the other one, it was like, ah, just anyone can level. do this. P.S. is gone. Bye, P.S. P.S.? <laughs> yeah, it's the bottom one. Oh, <laughs> He's yeah. not got P.S. <laughs> it all disappears anyway, but it's important. Oh, sorry. Okay. There you go. Or you want to play a different level or advanced? I think I did pretty good for advanced. Yeah, okay. man. What are we looking at? Oh, one. I think, I think, Wrap I think I'm, soon. I think I'm good to. I mean, obviously, it's so we could play this forever, but my my gut tells me it might be time. Yeah. Because I don't think we're gonna do better than how you did, <laughs> and I think there's a good point where you're like, okay. Yeah. End on a high note. Did you read the? Uh... Let's see. Controls. No, you read everything. Ooh. I think we got them. Anything that we miss that anybody wants to see? Yeah, um, please, because I think we're getting close to wrap up. So yeah. like, I mean, we could play this a lot because this is a fucking is great game. Incredible, one of the more like involved dynamic. kind of arcade games. Also, I there's love that there's multiple stuff. ways to score, so you can yes. kind of you can have different approaches, different strategies, and I love that the t that the time element. You know exactly how you're doing because of the the thing, Look and you know snakes. when you know when you're gonna get the. the the stuff in these, it just looks beautiful. The snakes are colored vertically, so some creatures are colored vertically, like their tails when they go up. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, tough, tough on advanced. <laughs> yeah. How many different animals are in there? I think there were six? Yeah, six. Where do you keep an eye out for the demo ROM? It's on the Atari Age forums. Look for the Zookeeper, uh, Zookeeper uh, thread, uh, uh, the official one. Um, so he says before the end of the year, he hopefully can put one out, which is awesome. And this is incredible. You guys are going to have a lot of fun playing the demo of this. I don't know what the, how the demo is going to be limited. Usually it's like, it stops after a certain level, like that makes level sense. six yeah. or something. Um, yeah, Atari Age Development Thread. Check that out whenever, yep. whenever that pops up. And of course on, um, Zero Pages Facebook page and also Champ Games yeah. Facebook page. Such a good, so such a good game, man. Thank you so much. Also, unbelievable. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's amazing. Also, it means a lot to us that you you put it on the show as the as the premiere. Like it's yeah. and, at the, and at this time of year, it's nice that also that's I wouldn't have, we all three of us wouldn't have gotten to hang out if this no, didn't happen. True. Which is to me, that's the real treat is getting to hang Just out with you guys. Just because of the timing, we're able to all three of us be here. I, yeah, it's, I'm, I think that's the first time we've done a show with the three of us. It's really fun. I no, I remember we did one because was it the marathon or we something? We did the marathon. That's not true. A was that the show. only time? Yeah. I just remember that when you sat on the edge, you had one giant arm and one little arm. And <laughs> yeah. by you, I mean whoever sat on the edge. Yeah, that yeah. was yeah. for the, wow. so the full stream. And I got to hear about your like science fiction novels. This is cool shit. <laughs> so there is Zookeeper by Champ Games coming out. Fall 2020 demo coming out very soon before the end of the year. Uh, thanks for testing, guys. We appreciate it. I expect the list of bugs on my desk first thing in the morning. Uh, we did it, the bugs real time, so um, take note. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did we see? Um, I don't know if the turning the corner is a bug or if that's the controls for the arcade. We got used to it, so it's. I not, honestly, not. when I first started playing it, I had no Fine. difficulty. Yeah. Because it was just so natural. I came to the corner and I was just already like. Yeah. Um, the, the platform bug where you were, ju you jumped on the platform across Zelda and you walked across and it did nothing. That yeah. was the only bug really that I saw. Honestly, everything it's else everything else. Really is and the crash. I, I and guarantee, the crash, yes. I guarantee you that you see more than we do. Oh so yeah. So whatever, I'm sure. And also we have never played Zookeeper. Correct. And we haven't yeah. seen the iterations of it, but I mean like once again, like work in progress, man, it feels like. You he know. says it's a 90%. Which okay, it good. Feels like that makes a lot like, of sense. It feels, it doesn't feel like 90. It feels, it feels like, yeah. <laughs> it feels like, like a release. 
and then you discovered there was a mistake. Well, yeah, <laughs> yes. man, and it's smart of you, though, to have this approach to sort of get, do the best that you can, and then, because I think when you walk into a work in progress and you know what the bugs are, it's kind of like, well, you should just fix them, and then, you know, it's yeah. nice, because this feels like, like it's a really, like, the perfect stage to do this, so thank yeah. you so much, man. Oh, yeah. It's incredible, and, and I love the premieres that we get to do on the show. There's so much, so much fun getting the world yeah. record <laughs> 200 and something thousand which would be beat immediately <laughs> anybody out there playing it john always starts with a reasonable build yeah yes yeah, it's, it's a huge help and it's also you know it's a good thing to do man yeah um oh so let's let's check out what's happening in the new year which is a lot of stuff um not that so I've got a bunch of games already scheduled. The schedule cool. may shift and change, but uh, I've got some fun things happening. Get over there. Make it easier. Um, so I may or may not come back on the 3rd. The 8th might be uh, the 1st, which is a Wednesday. Um, just give me a bit of time after the holidays to regroup. Um, so I'd probably change that, but right now the 3rd is the 1st. I've got a Hugo Hunt, which is a demo... Pilot X, uh, a new version of Ninja Sky, Ninja Sky in Low Res World. Um, then an update on Penalt, big big update. It's already out in the wild. Um, and then a bunch of uh, Brazilian games cool. that we somehow missed. There's like another world of Brazilian Atari homebrew creators that don't go on Atari Age, and there's a bunch of games that they oh, made. Oh wow! Um, so Z1B Sisney. Karama, Kari, Karirama, Labamento. So I'll get those pronunciations a little yeah. better as well, we go fun on. Those could be anything because we don't speak the language. So yeah. it could be like... could be anything. Uh, that's on the 8th. Then on the 10th, we've got uh, Beer Pong, which is a new release from EA Smith. It's actual Beer Pong. <laughs> that's hilarious. Like he took kind of his bowling and kind of converted into beer. <laughs> um, the it's, college it's, release. Yeah, it's really, really cool. George 2007, George 2019. Um, then on the 15th, got Steam Tunnel Bob uh, and Pressure Gauge. And then on the 17th, January 17th, we've got the 2019 Atari Homebrew Award nominees reveal. Damn, that's so, so that'll good. be the day where here is all the nominees. Mm. And so everybody be able to check them out. And I believe start voting on them shortly after that. Um, and then we'll be doing playthroughs of yeah. all the nominees. Of course, we played them all before, but it's a good time to revisit all the things that we uh, checked out in 2019. Mm. Which leads up to the Atari Awards presentation on February 1st. That's great. And that is a Saturday, and it's going to be at noon. I haven't put the times in there yet, but I should. And hopefully I'll be able to get uh, Dianoid's interview done before I go away. Because I can't do it while I'm away. Um, so I've got a couple days to do that. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Yeah. That's um, but whenever be... you get to it, I mean, I understand you're yeah. busy. But I'm, I, I'm looking forward to watching that one on YouTube. That'll yeah. be good. And I'm really looking forward to Dianoid's new game, um, which is Load Runner. That yeah, he's man. making, and he's got a different name for it. I can't remember the name for it right now. I'm a fan of that guy's work. Anything he comes out with, I'm <laughs> stoked the, to look at. The gold is so good. Um, so that and then Gold Rush. Ooh. Yeah, that's it's down the road. Well, that's down the road. Whenever there's a uh, demo version of Gold Rush, I'm looking forward to that. And the Quad Games, Quad Atari Hardware, and Wizard and of War. Wizard of War. We've got the the new um, Atari Vox. So Wizard of War will work now. Um, with the voices, it won't cut out because the new Atari Vox has been fixed. And hopefully, whenever I get the so it's the part, Atari Vox, not the, the Atari. It was the Atari Vox, not right, the yeah. game. The game was fine um, because it was a Atari Vox Plus that was the problem. If you had an Atari Vox original, that was working fine. Hmm. So it was the extra hardware. So it's been fixed now. Um, so we'll be playing when the. Atari is fixed. We go into all the boxed new games that were released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo and going through all those in detail. Amazing. Uh, and, and playing Wizard of War in its full glory. And much, much, much more. Um, <clears throat> uh, I've been working on this for over a year, Johnny WC says. Yeah, and it shows. It's it's unbelievable. And, and the stuff that Champ Games does opens up possibilities for other games because you go, oh, well, you can have... 
16 lions on the same line and it looks fine. Yeah. So now there's all these other games that thought were thought impossible to do before. You go, well, he's done 16 lions. Yeah. And the character and a bonus item on the same line and bricks on the screen. You can do so much. Like Popeye. Like Popeye is a bunch of bricks. Now we, he knows how to do bricks on the screen. I now have a thousand points. High score. Oh, I guess he's released it. Has he released it? Uh, it's possible. Maybe. Or Thrust has she, it. She, she, do a quick little check. I'm yeah. sure that it's like... That would be amazing, though. Smooth. Suit Keeper. I mean, it makes sense. Release it right after. Oh, it's so huge. Uh, that's December 1st. Let's go... No. Yeah, this just <laughs> wants you to open. download. Let's go to the last page. No, I, I don't think he, it is released because, no, it's not. Because he said before the end of the year. Yeah, and I, th I imagine he probably wants to... Uh, Fix those little bugs. Anything he saw as we, you know, I'm sure that it's invisible to us, but I'm sure he saw yeah. some stuff he might want. Oh, Twitch points. Points? Oh, I have no idea what's yeah, maybe you got a high score. I don't know. <laughs> what are those stupid Twitch points good for? You can do highlights. Highlight my message. There. Um, let's use... How many do you have? That was the one is a thousand. Well, it looks it says I have infinite. Yeah, because oh. it's your thing. Oh. I can unlock an emote. Which one? What is all these people's faces? Like, whoa. And who are these people? I imagine they're like, I mean, it's just so meta at a certain point. Uh, I don't know. Purple star. This is my free highlight. Dude, check it out. We got a star going on. We're, we're turning into generals. Can I do that one? You already have unlocked. Okay. Okay. Who knows? Anyway, the... you guys can f play with that. Hey. Um, so, we'll be back in the new year. Um, 2020. It's going to be busy times. It's going to be, be very adventures. Busy. Lots of cool things happening. I'll be gearing up for the Atari Awards. That's the big thing that's happening. And we'll all be back for the Atari Awards. And in the meantime, too. So thanks, everybody, for hanging out. RC-70, Thrust-26, Impaler-26, Ground Trooper. Uh, Johnny WC, of course, huge thanks to John Champeau for allowing us to play this incredible game on the stream first and debut it, world debut. Thank you so I much. And to... Such a fun game. I want to play it more. Uh, I suppose to Splendid Nut, Sir Cat Legs, um, for doing... Uh, He's doing the audio on, yeah, he on was, Gorf. He was, he's going to be doing the audio. Yes, that's right. That's awesome. Can't wait to see that as well and do that. World debut. Uh, the D-Train 37. Ark Vinin, New name. Thanks for joining us. Uh, who else? Impaler. Impaler. So many people. Yeah. Spartan 581. Welcome. I think that's a new issue. Master name. Chief. Keep Dios Kilos. Name. Was a Master Chief? No, it's just oh. because he's a Spartan. That's oh. the name of. That's the. Nintendo K360. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I think we run out of names here. Yeah, Lemon Merry Callister. Christmas, everyone. That's yeah, Merry Christmas. Name. Oh, decoding. Decoding, yes. Uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Have a good holidays. Hang out with your family or friends or by yourself and play video Whichever games. you prefer. Yeah, yeah you whatever your yourself, jam is, man. Sometimes by yourself good. is that's, better than family. That's the Erlen way. <laughs> the Erlen way. <laughs> Hole up in the dark. And Don't forget Hanukkah this camera. time. Yep, Hanukkah. I can't forget it. The, the guy that, remember, brought that up, Hanukkah, what is it? Um, that Hanukkah video game he was talking about. Something. Menorah Madness, Menorah man. Madness. Menorah Madness. Somebody's making a Menorah video Fuck game. Yeah. And somebody po um, wrote out a full length thing about Menorah Madness yes. and, like, the enemies in it. And, and, it's too uh, good. Yeah, so he wanted me to get involved, and I'm like, I don't have. I'm what? sorry. Put it out to the world and see if they can it's help the you. The candles being lit is yeah. too perfect. Yeah, it's the stages and all the people you have to fight off. It's actually <laughs> not a bad premise. Also, like, alliteration is just so great. Oh, Menorah yeah. Madness is just yeah. too good. So, thanks everybody, and uh, we will see you in the new year. Unless uh, John Champeau gives us another game. No, yeah. I have to leave soon. And No, we're yeah. all... But yeah, this is definitely it. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, see you in the new year. Bye, everyone. Thanks for Bye. hanging out. Bye-bye.